Welcome back, everybody, to the inaugural. We've got the Southeast Asian qualifiers here. We've got First Departure taking on Everlast. This is your semi-finals. The winner of this match goes on to first Execration. We've got First Departure from Singapore. We've got Everlast from Thailand. And to welcome in my co-caster, Sawadee Cub, Lysander, how are you doing? <laughs> and I, just as that comes out, I segue into the draft. Let me do that again. It was a bit quiet. Balance in all <laughs> After so many games. Oh. We haven't seen it much in the Asian scene, though. We get to see it. Uh, that's because it gets banned, it gets banned every game. So <laughs> that's the only reason we haven't been seeing him. Uh, apart from that game yesterday. Uh, but... Yeah, first departure, Ember Spirit. Things will get searing chains. Mm -hmm. You made a funny, Lysander. You made a funny. Yeah, but... Do you think he's on the Ember Spirit? Have you seen him play it? He's the hot character. I'm sure... Well, it's, Ember it's Spirit a mid hero though. Knows about him. Yeah, it, it could be safe lane. Yeah. Mid hero is good, but it could be safe lane. Yeah, we'll see. Everlast um, do get Invoker, though, which is a... Good hero to have, I guess, against. I mean, as far as heroes have against Embassy, I guess Invoke is slightly better than others. Yeah, but we'll see uh, if KS picks it up. We'll have to see along the draft here. Uh, the Dazzle pick does seem to me like it's likely to be a mid Ember because Dazzle wants to be comboed with something else. But then again, you'd just be going for the Weave to soften up and then Slide of Fist to kill everything. Yeah. I like the way IG play Ember Spirit. They pick it with like Elder Titan and stuff, so they put the Astral Spirit on them, and then you slide a fist, and it just does so much damage. Not to mention the Searing Chain sets up the Elder Titan Stomp, so I really like the Elder Titan plus Ember Spirit. It's really filthy. Filthy it is, and I don't think I've run it much anymore. Not the that much. Elder Titan? Yeah, Elder Titan has fallen out of favor. It has a little bit, but... We'll see. We'll see. First departure, the favorites coming into this match, but Everlast, definitely a decent team to look out for. They've beaten uh, Zephyr in the past there. Um, I don't think this will be an easy match for first departure by any means. Yeah. Maybe, but um, Chains... Scripted... All of them are pretty old players, WKS. Uh, old players from Singapore, so... Yeah. Aha! Chains Thinker, maybe? Oh. Maybe? I think Chains Thinker. Right. I think you're Chains right. I, I hope so. Uh, well, I don't know. One can wish and pray. Yeah, it, it's a good hero to have against the Rat Prophet. To uh, yeah. chase him around the map, so... I, oh, Thinker I, as for far as, like, Chains. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they have other Thinker players, but to me, this is definitely a Chains hero. Been a uh, while. Chains Thinker. It needs to happen. I mean, it's gonna happen, hopefully. So I guess maybe KS will be on the Ember Spirit? Yeah, safe lane Thinker, maybe. I mean, it's been done before. Chains has done it on Chains Tank. I remember this, so. Well, oh, I might... maybe switch lanes uh, and mix things up a little bit. We could see. This is when Everlast brings out the axe. The axe? <laughs> For Dazzle. It's... Yeah. I don't know if Dazzle's gonna be the problem, though. I feel like. Ember Spirit no, no, you can actually kill Ember Spirit as well. This battle call or whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no, battle, the battle, the Berserker's call, yeah, and the counter helix goes right through the shield. That's what you want to do. Ember Spirit has very weak armor, poor stat gain, and well, it looks like you gotta get some water to douse the flames. How well that's gonna work out, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Sproink! Sproink, Sproink. Everlast have such a greedy lineup, though. They've got three basically very farm dependent core heroes. Morphling needs lots of farm, so does Invoker, so does Nature's Prophet. And Shadow Shaman as a support, he needs lots of farm. They can get crushed in the early to mid game maybe. Shadow Shaman is uh it's uh, one of those heroes <laughs> that's not gonna enjoy this game. Oh, he yeah. is one hero that Ember doesn't Spirit, enjoy Enchantress, Tinker. It's a painful game. Shadow Shaman, well Rip in pieces. Hopefully they get the push going. Maybe they bring out the... No, there are no more pushers uh, in the form of junglers. So Chen has been banned by themselves and they let Sproink get picked up. So 
I think Everlast just need like a very little farm needed support, like your Crystal Maiden or something. Um, I like this Bounty Hunter ban. You could really mess with them. Yeah, that's and cool. Shaman doesn't do well against Bounty Hunter. Yeah, Shaman... Oh, I mean, a lot of these here... Neither does Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet doesn't do well against Bounty Hunter. But the thing is, Bounty Hunter can just tag up the Shaman and he will most definitely die every fight. So it's like a yeah. guaranteed gold. So you don't want that when you have too many squishies. And I think it's clever. Well, we'll see what the support's going to be you know, with the Shadow Shaman. I think you just want yeah, like a, a true five position support. Shadow Demon, Crystal Maiden, uh, whatever it may be here. I think Rubik's not bad as well. You haven't got much killing power, I guess, with Rubik Shadow Shaman, but we'll see. Hey, but Everlast, they beat Zephyr, the Lords of Korea, so they must yeah. be legit. Everlast should be off in Korea themselves, winning buckets of money. Oh. They're in the wrong country. Southeast Asia, the most try-hard region. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have Sand King as the uh, last ban here, and I think Sand King would be okay. I don't think Sand King's that great against Ember Spirit, though. I think it's just another hero who needs too much farm, like Sand King and Shadow Shaman. Combined with yeah. three farm core, the farming core The problem here. is, Everlast needs a jumper to catch out the Tinker right now, and I, I'm not really yeah. sure what hero fits into that mold, apart from, like I said, X. He can take the jungle roll. Yeah. Uh, it will pressure Shadow Shaman. Venge is okay as well, the not swap. Bad. But I don't, I don't see anything killing the Ember Spirit at this point. Uh, apart from a yeah. bling hex from Shadow Shaman, this is going to be tough. And you swap like you swap him in, you need to immediately either like have an Orchid on your Invoker or a Hex on your Prophet, because he'll just fire him out. I, he can even just fire him out instantly, so... I'm not sure... Yeah, I don't know how much this Ventral Spirit will help. And even against Tinker, like, level 1 swap is never really going to be enough. You need that level 2 swap, which you don't get until really late in the game as a support. And another thing is, of course, Shadow Shaman Bench, uh, these are two heroes that really fall short if the early game doesn't go well for your team. Yeah. These heroes are just sad heroes. And Venge actually needs some level of farm to be good as well. So, I don't know, man. Uh, Venge seems kind of stupid. I case. think Everlast need to have a really good early game. Like, their laning stage and ganks, like, from in the first five minutes of the game, have to work, otherwise they're in all sorts of yeah. trouble. It looks like they already lost in the draft, but that's very pessimistic to say. Yeah, because I don't... I don't see anything going through Ember Spirit. I don't see anything well, they can, stopping Grave. They can snowball. If they get, like, lots of early smoke ganks, kill the Ember Spirit in the laning stage, kill the Tinker in the early game stage, and they get ahead, then I think they can do fine. That, to mm. me, is, like where their lineup has to succeed. The first First Departure hasn't even picked up their last hero and I already look uh already am thinking that F D has got this, but I mean First Departure could just I think if they want to pick up something now they could pick a big space maker. Uh something like uh El Centaur's band, but you know, something big to stand in the front lines yeah. that just cause trouble, like a Timber Saw. Maybe Timber Saw not the best choice, but Timber Saw against Prophet's always nice. Uh I think something just to cause trouble while um, the rest of his team wreck havoc will be great. Timbersaw will be good for the upcoming push as well, the Chakram spam. So yeah, I, I think it might be great. They maybe I mean they've got the, oh you got Ember Spirit plus Tinker. That's kind of almost enough AOE on its own to to stop any push. There you go. Timbersaw. There was like yeah. every offlaner in the game was banned out. Centaur, oh, Nyx, right. hey. Chains. Uh, you name it, it was banned. So Chains Tinker. Chains Ooh. Tinker indeed. That's exciting. Yeah, we'll see KS well. on the Ember Spirit. So. I mean, it's uh, it's something to look forward to. It's been fabled, and hopefully, he doesn't let us down uh, with the less than flashy plays by Ninja Boogie last last game. So, we'll see. All right. There are very little things to lock down a timber soil, and it's gonna be tough. There's a good amount of nuke, like you see, uh, like you say, Bunk. Oh, Bunk sell roti. Yeah. Uh, he used to be a support player. He's he's been ca playing carry for a. Bid, I think now he used to play used on to I think, Neo, Lu Neo Lucian Thailand team. Yeah, he he plays uh, support. Yeah, he's Some been around for a while though. Some fragments of my memory still. I I, I kind of think that uh, his name means um, dude sells bread if I'm not wrong, but I could be wrong. Yeah, but yeah. All right, on the side of uh, ego, Everlast GFL. So Everlast, it's gonna be. TNT on the Shadow Shaman, Bunk Cell Roti on the Morphling, I'm just going to call him Roti. Uh, Mr. Edison is going to be an eventual spirit. No set, what a scrub. 
and we have my pro on the invoker we have solo tick solo tick on the nature's prophet on the off lane with the scythe of ice well for the radiant side it's going to be the jungling enchantress being played by visage uh, currently hiding off in the trees. We're going to see the uh, Timbersaw being played by Dapper. We'll probably be heading to the off lane. We've got Tinker being played by uh, none other than Chain. And then we've looked towards Dazzle in the hands of Lubby. And finally, Ember Spirit. That's KS. He's going to be in the mid lane. It's actually going to be Tinker off lane. All right. So they're going offensive trial lane. They're going to put Timbersaw 1v1 against the Nature's Prophet. And yeah, because I told you Chains plays Darkseer as well when Darkseer was still viable in the meta. And he plays Darkseer, he should be pretty familiar with the off lane as well. I think chains in general on a solo role will be pretty good. Okay. Well I don't I think Dazzle's gonna be heading top as well. We'll see where Lubby looks to go, but uh, Dazzle Tinker Lane looks weird though, so I don't know. Yeah. Maybe just to keep him alive, it could be yeah, wrong. Wow, yes, starting off with the Ember Ember Shield or Enchantress Am Flame Guard. Oh, oh Flame Guard the one, wow. Enchantress wanted to grab a creep here, but he's lost both of his big camps, so... <laughs> Mud Golems for the last Oh my <laughs> god, sad days. And then he's got an Alpha Wolf over here, so that's not a good starting creep. It'll be great for Doom, but not great for Enchantress. Maybe he just rotate into aggressive trial and Oh, Lubby! Chains up top, getting caught out. The Shackle will come onto Chains. I think this is first blood. Maybe Grave? Grave, Grave. yeah, keeps him alive. And there's going to be the Martian Machines. It could turn around on them. They have to be very, very careful. And Dazzle runs faster than Ventral Spirit, so... No? No. Wow, I would 10, have... 10 movements be different. Would have tried to get more damage in. Yeah, maybe... maybe force out another stun and waste the mana. But... I think not. But yeah, Chain's going to keep alive. Yeah, so the Dazzle actually... Being good because it keeps him alive, prevents the first blood from coming on, and coming now they again. see him coming again. Uh, this time, I don't think it worked. No yeah, the creep, creep wave's coming this year, so. Uh... Oh, wow, the range creep, always the clarity disabler. <laughs> <laughs> For you. Always. Well, when we look towards uh, Visage and the Enchantress, he's forced to just pull and jungle here. He's got neither of his big creeps available. This is not good for him uh, in, the, been... in the jungle. He needs to just get to the dire jungle, I feel like. Yeah, but we'll see how this lane, there's a lot of burst damage, so it could happen on the top lane. But, yeah, Enchantress, yeah, like you said, he's doing pulling, so he's kind of like a laning Enchantress now. Yeah. Oh, uh, regeneration, maybe maybe he snipes it? No, nope, nah, got probably. it. Oh, well, that's gonna be good, because that's another set of trians for him. Yeah. Without having returned to the fountain, first and now, oh, we missed first blood. What? Ember Spirit gets Radiant's solo kill. You see, it's things like that that make us casters look bad, because it doesn't... It, su it should not happen, but uh, yeah. But did you catch it? No, no, I did not. So, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's stuff like that makes us look bad because <laughs> it really should not happen. It's level four in Volker, one in Wax, two in Quas. How do you just, even die? Yeah, cold snap plus one. I mean, it would have just been harassing. Ember Spirit just getting too cocky with the harass, but still, shouldn't happen. That's a good start oh. for Everlast. They get the first blood with a solo kill in mid lane. Chains yeah, is not getting you. great farm top, and yeah. Bench goes for a smoke again, and no, oh, might be a second kill. Like you said, if the Ember Spirit gets locked down, it's GG, and his his Flame Guard's lowering soon, so oh, it's about to expire. It could be trouble. Yeah, yeah, this will be trouble. The tornado will spin. The cold snap will come, and cold snap. Oh, no mana. You and I. Uh, no patience. He had two mana. He rushed to it. Snap. He didn't. Yeah. Didn't do the maths. His Asian parents would be uh would disappointed. Very him. disappointed. Yeah. yeah disappointed. <laughs> And doesn't even give his support to final last hit to get level. Well, get level two now at least. The way for terror, very good uh, value point at level one. Three yeah. armor lost. No, absolutely. But uh, yeah, Invoca now going to have a big gold boost in the mid lane. He's already got phase boots up now, so his killing power actually increases a lot with his phase boots. You can be so careful as an Ember Spirit. Me thinks you want Ember Spirit that. does have boots, but still tough for him. Top lane seems to have stabilized. I think chains can stop the push. One of the good things about an offlane tinker, this is something you never see actually. Offlane tinker. Have you ever seen it? I've never seen um, it. I've, well, every oh, now and what, then... I gotta go jump Lubby here. Lubby's gotta tango through. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. Immediate tango as well. There is a haste. Oh, haste through. Yeah. Tornado wow. and a cold snap. When as the well. wall hates you, <laughs> it hates you. Yeah, unfortunately for Lubby, uh, there's no way out of this one. He'll pop the grave, but. Maybe. Maybe. No. 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 Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Stay that's in a little spot. I didn't know that spot was there. That's a cool little spot. Yeah, he tried. 
Yeah, now actually and James is in a lot of trouble. He's got two points in the map. So if they try and dive him, they probably will actually struggle get to get the kill. Two points in rockets as well, so yeah. people that try to do something funny might actually die. But this is very aggressive coming out here, and I like this Enchantress Creep trying to bail him out. And a uh, good hoof stomp could yeah. catch him out. Yeah, the, the Rasta taking a lot of damage, no boots. Level 3 Rasta, this is a dead Rasta. Yeah, nice Easy play. pickings for chains, oh man. Bench gonna go down and Enchantress as well. will pick up one. And Tipasaur, he's level 6, he's shown up to the top lane, Solonic is in all sorts of trouble, the Whirling Death, couple more right clicks are going to be needed here, they're going to get the kill on the Dazzle, Chakram comes out on Bunks Roti as well. It's slowed down a little, but that's a 3 for nothing trade at top lane. Yeah, that's rotation. That Centaur came up big. Yeah, walked all the way from the Radiant Jungle, the Sentry was timed out, and Enchantress strikes, and KS. That was nicely baited there. I think they just got a bit too eager to kill Chains in the top lane. And he's gone for three points in the heat seeking missile, so maxing missiles over March for the time being. And Dafa, as far as Arcane, about 200 gold. He gives the tank over to KS, who is not having a good time, to be honest. Oh, uh, no, well, he is beating the last hit, so. Yeah. But his farm's a little lacking, he's gonna be skipping. Boots going straight for drums, Not skipping for upgraded game. boots over drums. So, bottle Amber Spirit, I think, is a good one. Yes. I, I sometimes feel that if your team doesn't have two bottles already, you should just get a bottle as the last one and go for face boots over arcanes. It really ups your damage output no, and you can abuse the, well, the return to the fountain top lane TNT. Yeah, just having a little Voka bit of a trade though. profit. Double damage is Voka. Uh, I'll be gonna walk to the side, now it gets caught, the grave will come. Eh? The uphill miss almost working against him, but... Well, that's that was, what, five heroes going top, so I, that's not even, like, a very useful Big kill deal. for Everlast. Like, I feel like that's not even worth it if they have to bring five heroes to get that kill. Yeah. The... What, a level two dazzle? Level three dazzle that they Dyer's kill. Middle tower is under attack. Invoker is flying out drums as well, so he's going drums. Something that is not so common now in Quaswax Invoker, I dare say, because yeah. usually they rush up uh, four stars or four your Orchid eggs. right away. Yeah. Orchid, yeah. Why? I think the drums just Especially Orchid against KS would be great, yeah. since KS is having a bad time. The Wex the gives you the, the movement speed necessary. and attack speed, like you don't actually need the extra movement speed attack speed from a drum. Drums is just greedy. What Duffa, the, I think it's Duffa actually opposite of greedy. By, yeah, Duffa will be Orchid, um... I mean greedy for stats, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, Dafa will be weak against that, um, Ember will be weak, all of them will be really weak, even silencing a Dazzle in the fight will be huge. Yeah. Well, Ventral yeah. Spirit smoked up towards the mid lane, hoping for a kill here with the Shadow Shaman, but... Oh man, Rasta really need shoes. Yeah. Chaos is vulnerable to these ganks here, he has he... Yeah, Invoker's coming back. Fire Rim? Also, could TP behind. Tornado's yeah, the Tornado will come. No fire remnant. He Chicken. needed to have a fire remnant already up. He didn't have one up already, so. <laughs> oh, two. Ember is KS. That was like, he should have had a fire remnant already up because he he had time to cast it, so he could have actually just escaped to a fire remnant if he had just had one planted already. Attack. Yep, and no. It it does show. I, I I just find it very hard to believe that you, as a pro player, you will not be training your a hero that's deemed most overpowered this version. Especially since it helps you win pop pop queues as well, so Radiant I don't see any reason why he shouldn't have played it. Like, maybe just has, carelessness. Yeah, I think he's still waking at up. At least he maybe. gets the value. <laughs> yeah, at least he gets the value of the spirit in the lane, so yep. he gets to jump back. Oh, that's true. Actually, actually, he's got his drums. It might go on him again. But I think Invoker, he's got boots to travel now. Invoker's thinking bottom. Yeah, chains. Eight minutes. Oh, he's BOTs. Without without bottle as well, he yeah. is. No bottle. No, he doesn't even have rearm right now. Oh, let's... trouble. They start up on Enchantress. Sprank will take a ball. No mana for Dafa now, and he's gonna be in trouble. This guy has been getting the best of the best runes. Oh, the Timid Chain breaks uh, the Sprout, so. I thought it was Tango. Oh, nice. Solo yeah, on, Shadow Shaman. No shoes. Okay. No, yeah, oh, he was flying out to him, but still. Yeah, still gonna die, and. Ember Spirit is just one of those heroes that bully heroes like Shaman because even when you get your Hex and Shackle, your Ether Shock's just not enough to finish him off. Yeah, yeah. 
So even after all your disables, you die solo. So there's really nothing you can do. Meanwhile, and Wolfling Chains is going for a Midas. Travels in the eight minute mark, right? Nine minutes, eight ish minutes, like you said. Was it's, it's a pretty big deal. He's got to get a bottle into Soul Ring soon. He needs his level seven. Yeah, there we go. He'll TP home. He'll have a point in Riyam now. And I think he'll go Song. I don't know if he needs the bottle as well. I think maybe just the Soul Ring. This is a very, very novel way of playing Tinker. Yeah. Just straight boots of Travel Wrath. He's going to TP it's top and spam out the Morphling him. a bit. The Morphling who's Midas. Midas is going to be coming out any second now for Morphling. So it's a 10 minute Midas, which isn't a very good time, but he did get boots and bottle along the way. Yeah, the Observer what? does not get spotted out. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, they do see an Observer there, so, do they? Yeah, they, yeah. they see it. It's, it's kind of hiding, but... HP bars. Miss chance, miss chance, miss chance. Okay, 50 gold. But this is a clever observer. Oh, wow, Timber so kills. What is the shaman doing there? Why is he on the other side of the river? Oh, uh, this guy. What? Wow, greedy morphling. He's gone all the way around. Yeah, he, he's gone Midas. Yeah. I'm not sure it's clever because I if think this is a Chain, good Midas game. Yeah, if Chase picks up the Dagon path, you're in trouble. Yeah, and even before that, he can just spam, like, keep sticking missiles, harassing him. He really needs that perseverance for the HP regen, I feel. Alright, uh, they gotta catch it off our bottom lane. EMP as well, cold snap. Oh, he still has mana. Stick charges. If there's TP support, he should be able to get out of this alive. Spirit. Nope, magic missile. And Ember Spirit coming in. Balance in all things. And well, rockets will fly. That's gonna be a kill on the Prophet. But Tinker, are oh, they gonna sprank him? No, the slide of chains. I'm surprised the Ember Spirit didn't go in. Uh, didn't go in for a full up kill. But, eh, good rotation from Chase. Oh no, poor Mr. Edison. He's gonna get trapped in here and he is between um, <laughs> rock and a hard place. Ember Spirit will steal it. So, he's getting the gold that he needs and. That was toasty. Yeah, he goes for face boots. So, I, I like this build. I like the face boots build. I don't really like the arcane Ember Spirit. I feel that if you have your mana control with drums and bottle, you should have enough. I think it almost gets a kill on Shadow Shaman mid just with some rocket missiles. Yeah, Shadow Shopping is a sad hero. Oh, top lane, a bit of a trap scene set here for the Tinker, but there's March Machine and mi Missiles. He's gonna rearm. This this Prophet may just straight up die. Here. One more hit Rocket to get Missile. <laughs> yeah. No laser at all. He is just playing some new level Tinker right here. Not a single point in laser. Laser is safety as well. He's got Missiles. Rockets over, are so good uh, at kills with your. Because you can just fire them yeah. while running. It's so good at zoning here as other lane. Like Morphling wants to farm a lane, you TP to his lane, use missiles twice, and then suddenly he's like half HP, and he has to be very careful. Okay, Thrun and Moke are gonna get it with an EMP tornado. Yeah, oh, nice. Ember Spirit is good for that <laughs> dodging EMP. I, so satisfying. I think he actually got hit by that one, didn't he? No, he didn't. He's he not? used the mana to jump, so that's the mana jump. If he got hit, it would be zero now. The uh, fire rem fire remnant, you mean? No, no, uh, yeah, he used it to use the jump. Okay. 150 mana to jump, but if he got hit by EMP, it drains 400. He would have lost all his mana. Well, it's not for it's not max level EMP. Yeah, the max is five five fifty okay. uh, five five zero. Oh, so gotcha. yeah, he lost four. He would have lost 400, and that would have been zero. His max mana is not that high. <gasps> but yeah, Ember Spirit can start off bad. He will come back. It's oh fine. yeah, he doesn't. It's like it's like PL or Alchemist in the old version where. You can shut them down, but you never stop Grievous Greed, or you never ever stop PL's farm eventually. Well, the thing with Ember Spirit is you even don't even need that much farm to be effective. Like, you just yeah, need just level. one battle fury. Yeah. One battle fury and you start wrecking, and this is the old... This is can th this is one of those tricks with the Tinker you can do only on the Radiant side, I think. Yeah, only on the Radiant side. You can farm three camps at once. Oh, in the jungle? Yeah, the three camps yeah. at once. Uh, yeah, you, you get a support to help you pull one side, and... I'm sure Chains being the famous Tinker player he is. You know, the, the, how I found out about his Tinker play was in a pub when I queued against him. Uh, and I, I decided that, oh well, this was before MMR was uh, was implemented. So I just played, I decided to just random and I got Omni Knight. And I decided, hey, I don't usually play this guy. So I was wondering, maybe I should just play Omni Knight. And I had a great game. I started the game 4-0. And I never win as Omni Knight, so a little bit of backstory, I never win on that hero. No one wins as so Omni Knight. I was like, <laughs> I was like wow, okay, I'm actually doing well this game. So I could get my arcanes, I'm feeling good. And then Chains comes into my lane with an 8 minute boots of travel. And, well, Fun's over. He, 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 he proceeded to roll us uh, with yeah. the Dagon E-Blade thing. Oh and it wasn't fun.
He's gone blink already, so we'll have to see if he's gonna go Hex or Dagon. I, I wanna see a Dagon. Just keep TPing top here. Timbersaw's already taken a fall though, and he can actually cancel his TP. Even on mid lane, the push is on. Morphle gets that kill as well, that's gonna help. Blink forward from chain, pops down the match from chain. Yeah, yeah this Morphle thing is might just trade spot 1400 gold. We'll see exactly what he looks to go for. Nature destruction. I think they're going top now. So. He'll just what, shoot some rockets, match some things. Press the, the uh, Morphling down a bit. Meanwhile, mid lane, they've actually gone in. They killed the Shadow Shaman. He's starting to drop in Careful, out of mana. Doesn't take too much damage. To there's Grave. That's like That's Grave. That's yeah, good. but there's, there's Grave as well. So that was without no TPing as well. He's going to TP bottom. If the rockets fly, Venge would probably hit the deck as well. 0 2 on the Venge, and Rasta sitting at 0 and 4. So you can already see how the poor choice supports are hurting Everlast. He gets the regen room bottom lane. This invoker's in trouble. Balance. <laughs> Nope, he has to jump okay. out, the stick charges. Oh, drums are uh, saving the invoker in under attack. Drum saving invoker. But regeneration, oh, why would you want to Oh, you just died this bottom lane? There's a blink in? Now for one laser! Ah. Little, I think level two. Yeah. Oh, that's a... oh, death? Maybe he dies. Yeah, no. maybe he dies. He needs another blink out, this blink. Oh, no, he's not gonna get it. James is getting outplayed there. Didn't get the invoker kill, then got punished by a tornado. Yeah, so. But at least it didn't go to anyone, just spread among the team. Tower got the last hit. Bottom tier 1 tower, mid tier 1 tower, both in trouble for Everlast. But hey, they're holding their own. 9 kills to 8, they're only down by 1. But uh, looking at the gold, it is a 1 game gold deficit, which isn't much at all. Yeah, but this is just a uh, setup for things to come. I mean,. Yeah. Enchantress hasn't been pushing, yes, but she has gone for Arcanes. Uh, and Ember Spirit, well, it's a ticking time bomb. It will it's happen eventually. Well, like, that's, that's the tower scary thing. This Morphling doing, considering what he, the lane he was up against being really annoying, he's managed to farm pretty good farm. And, and today, today I learned that the uh, reactive armor. Oh, Dyer's maybe he gets out. And he's, he's wrecked. <laughs> He had no fire on it to escape to. Yeah, Rasta, Rasta got the kill, so yay Rasta! Arcane Boots on the way, maybe. Catch up time. But yeah, I was talking about the Ember Spirit, uh, I mean the Illusion of Timbersaw. It it does get reactive armor, so I never knew that. Okay. Some things don't work, but Counter Helix is one of them, and reactive armor seems to work as well. The problem, One of the problems with morphing this game is any replicates can be stolen by the Enchantress. Yeah, that would be really frustrating. But he can always just ben, use it like defensively. He doesn't like, have any kind of he doesn't have any kind of good heroes to steal anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's just gonna be I'm using it to escape. Oh, trap! It's a trap. Magic missile chains in trouble. That's no oh, tornado so cool. lost it. A little bit of misplay here from the wave form, so the uh, invoker might pay my pro. Gonna be a little bit of trouble. More thing shit. Definitely be fine. Strength Morph coming out, but Ember Spirit coming in here. Shadow Shaman, he's gonna chicken him up. Self traps himself, uh, okay. And now he's gonna drop onto Scripted. Long Rosie dropping really low. Has been Strength Morphing, he's out of mana, so I think he's going down here. Wow, that's brave. And will he survive? No, he will not. Yeah, he gets balanced. 11 10 now, Morphling drops. The Invoker has been doing well, I must say. 5 0. Yeah, he's he's been like I mean a lot of it came down. He got some really lucky runes in the early game to get some kills, but hey, okay. you, you get those runes and he made them made them work for Everlast. So my pro definitely being the uh, the big playmaker for this team so far. He's been involved in all ten of their kills, not just five or no. He's got five assists as well. Yeah, Nature's Prophet taking a little bit of time to farm up some ancients actually. Got an orb of venom. What? <laughs> I've seen this, I've seen this a bit, like not frequently, but what? every now and then, like a few of the European players do it. Um, I mean, really, four percent slow. It's like a bit of damage <laughs> over time as well. Are you are you serious? It's self Daya's magic damage. Is under attack. I don't know. Magic damage. So that's eight. Eight? Did I get my math right? Yeah. No, no, not eight. Nine. Oh. But yeah. Dodging EMP once again, feeling really good. Does the poison damage stop blink, I guess? Maybe. That to me is probably the reason. Like, you hit Tinker and then it doesn't. It stops his blink until the poison's worn off. And then I, I thought there would be, um. I thought there would be, a 
what do you call minimum it? Minimum damage. Kind yeah, of minimum thing. damage. Kind of thing like ten. I think ten is the number. I'm not. Yeah, I don't know the exact mechanic. Or maybe it's a Scotty rush. I mean, we've never seen it before. I've seen Scotty Nature's Prophet. Um, Luo from IG did I've one game. I've seen everything on Nature's Prophet. Yeah. Nature's Prophet is the guy that kills everything. This is a very brave Shadow Shaman, though. Very brave. Alright, Pierce yeah. is flame guard up. He's gonna block a lot of this magic. No. Oh. Rocket. Oh. Yeah, the Shadow Shaman Invoker okay. saves his life. You know, the fat ass cloak is gonna be blocking that rocket for him. But Chain's getting kill after kill, and. The Dagon's coming. So. Rip supports. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, well, Morphling's gonna be okay. He's gonna have a Lincoln Sphere, I imagine, at some point. But, uh, we'll see this bottom T1 tower. Tinker maybe wanting to TP bottom to help get this uh, T1 tower, but. Not gonna do so just yet. Actually, not in position to do so. Morphling's gonna get an easy tonight. Dyer's bottom tower has been My question denied. is, where is the mech on departure? Ooh, I mean, uh... He's going Yules, he's not going Dagon. Damn. That is a new build. I've not seen a Yules reference. No, I've seen Yules. Um, for certain targets, like... I mean, if you want to disjoint, because... The good thing about Yules is, you wait for... If your dagger gets cancelled, you try yeah. and get to juke to the point where... Your Yules. dagger gets half a second. Two seconds and then you heals yourself and then that's where you get your bling. So you do for sometimes you juke, but it's not enough to clear the three seconds. So heals allows you to allows you the time to just juke for two seconds. Or uh, one second and then you heals on yourself. And you can dodge stuff like the VS done and even EMP if you time it right. Can you dodge and you can EMP remove with E blade as well? E blade. Yeah. Uh you can't dodge the attack of E Blade with instant, but you can dispel E Blade off you and dodge the subsequent amount of hurt coming in. Okay. And of course you can dodge EMP, which is always nice. Everlast's gonna go for a pretty straightforward Roshan here. Tinker not in range, so And he'll and he will always have it, so if he rearms in a fight, he might just well, semi disable someone. Roshan has fallen yeah. to the dial. So it, it it's a the effective item. A little bit of nice movement speed never hurts as well. And it's a good mana item, I guess. Dagon can wait. He farms really fast. Yeah. We'll have to see if he goes for the Dagon. Maybe against Morphling, he's going to be thinking side of Vice. Morphling is going to have a Lincoln Sphere and about 100 gold, so picks up an Aegis with the team and. Game on. No. Chaos uh, still working to his Battle Fury. He's not the most impressive Ember Spirit I've seen, but he's got 110 last hits. Yeah. It's poised top here to uh, try and make a go on this Invoker. Who is going for the Orchid you were talking about earlier? Now, the Invoker surely has um, played well enough to earn his Orchid in a reasonable, reasonable amount of time. Yeah. None of these... Oh yeah, that's what the Eels is for. The Orchid? Yeah. yeah. Well... Makes sense. Because if you get silenced and snap, you're dead. That's Yeah, that's true. So, the Eels take that off. Because sometimes if you just get the laser off on the invoker, he can't kill you anymore. It could help, I mean, I, I don't know. Just waiting a while would be good. And they're, they're, they're really trying for the Timber, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Bloodstone no. on him, it's not... The Dark Troll coming in to troll. He's yeah. really tanky looking. Nature's Prophet, being really brave. Shadow Blade. Oh, so this game's going. pretty even right now. It, it's only a 2k gold leaf for first departure. Everlast, they've got a farm Morphling. Like, they had this greedy lineup with Morphling, Prophet, and Invoker, but all three of those core heroes have done pretty well, so I feel like being only 2k gold behind, I think they're in a decent position here. Yeah, Ember Spirit is not doing the best, which is very important. Morphling, yeah. we'll see if he gets destroyed by Balance as well, or maybe Morphling's the hero to deal with this. Water is getting inspired. Okay, we'll TP out. My pro just using the ghost walk, looking for the uh, pickup thing. He's got the orchid up, but like you mentioned, the Yules may be enough to save Tinker from these ganks. And Tinker is going to be going for a side of vibe. Picked up the ultimate orb. I really feel that Everlast would be doing a lot, a lot better if they didn't pick up Rasta and Bench. Okay, yes, he's going to get great. This will keep him alive a little yes. bit longer, and it looks like he'll actually completely save his life. The chase is now on, and Vogue is going to be careful. He's on the run. That is your Vengeful Spirit, and Vengeful Spirit, I think, is going to be the uh, sacrificial lamb here. Yeah, wow. TP. <laughs> nope. You almost got the TP out. That's got touched. Kind of no chance. Got touched. Touched by a priest. Yep. 13 to 11. And yeah, like I said, Avalas would do a lot better without the Venge and Rasta. So far, this Venge has not contributed to anything I can imagine. Rasta wards, you can still argue, but Venge is really dubious as a pick. 
I would prefer another Wraith King, if anything. Double damage. Yeah, Wraith King is a Wraith yeah. King is a better stun. If you're not picking Venge for her swap or pushing aura, I don't think you should pick her at all. I think Venge has done Wraith a lot King. more than the Shadow Shaman in this game. Shadow Shaman's only been in four of these kills. Venge has been in nine. Like nine assists on this game. Yeah, but yeah. there's always serpent wards you can argue with. So yeah. I don't know. Uh, there's a little bit of a fight here. Enchantress Giant taking some damage, but the Hoof Stomp will come. The Tornado will fly. That's a nice heal. As well as the spirits, gonna heal him up. Bunk the roti with Ace Drun. He's gonna run away. Though. Looking for the balance. He can bait this a bit. My this is ready. He could turn the sensor into a pile of. Oh, chains is really dropping him low. Is he baiting it? Oh no! What a waste of ages. Yeah. Gonna hang around here. Think you actually forced the TP home, and they're gonna get a pick up on the ventral spirit now. Now waveform out of there. So uh, Bunk or roti realizing he can't really hang around, and this I think is gonna be the tier two tower top going down. Prophet trying to backdoor mid, but Chains is not having that one. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Really, it was a waste of the ages. Could have gotten out of there. And it wasn't timing out any time soon as well. It still had a lot. Two minutes on that, so... That was yeah, I think that was... was just standing there, like, hitting from the tree. And... That was a 322 moment right there. Hex coming up for the Nature's Prophet, so they want to Hex uh, the Tinker. Get some good kills. If you hex Ember Spirit before that, you'll get a good chance for your kill as well. And yeah, they oh they smoke. Uh, they ghost walk up. They want to try and kill him. There is silence. Yeah, silence. Yep. No, they silence Tinker. And Tinker's got Yule's here. Case is out of mana though. Tinker's actually getting silence now as Done. well. Done. Then Yule Scepter will come, and uh, Chaos will fall. Yeah, Wicked mana. sick for this Invoker. That the tornado will fly. That is two actually. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I off. guess it you. I would have silenced it. I, I think it was only because um, KS once again didn't have a remnant ready to dodge the MP. Yeah, he just got burned instantly all of his mana. He's not been very proactive about having fire remnants up defensively. He's always just, whenever he gets ganked, he's like, okay, now I'll use fire remnant to try escape, but by then it's too late. You should always, oh, the minute you hit the lane, just drop it because uh, it, it takes a while to cool down anyway. So you always have one by the side. You rarely use all three in aggressive. Uh, in a graphic aggressive movement, so it's not really worth it to drop all three on the target as well. Usually, yeah, it's very all in ish. It's a one way trip Radiant's if you drop all three. Tower. And the top tier the one tower as well. The serpent wards get Radiant's one, top lane gets another one. Alrighty, well, right. the serpent wards at mid do get cleared up, which is some decent gold for a uh, first departure. And they do hold on to the top tier one, but top tower 250 HP, bottom tower is still pretty healthy, so. Everlast have their work cut out for them if they want to try to bring down these tier 1s even, and that's really uh, the big problem for them. They've got Shadow Shaman and Nature's Prophet, and they're struggling to push towers. No, it's just, it, this is just Tinker. Tinker is the mechanical rat, yeah. and he he beats Prophet when it comes to push, because you no matter how good your Prophet is, you will not beat much, unless you kill Tinker. So that's one thing the Prophet has to do, he has to catch Tinker, and Tinker has to catch the Prophet. So it's like a cat-mouse thing. So the rats have to hunt each other. Well, Ancients have been stacked. I think KS is going to be farming this with his Battle Fury a bit. He's one who really does need to catch up on the farm, I guess. Tinker. That's not too bad on net worth. Oh yeah, he is very far down on net worth. Yeah, he's got 9,000. 9, Tinker's got 14. Morphling 12,000. So yeah, he's behind. Chase He's matching man. We talked right about now. it during the draft. Like this thing, you cannot mess with his Tinker. This was an offlane Tinker Radiant's as well against the Trilane. Is under attack. And he got a kill even early game. Yeah. Ah, now KS drops a good spirit. This is a good location for a spirit. And the problem with dropping a spirit after you get ganked is not only because there, uh, it's not only the reason that it's not only for the reason that you have um, no spirit to jump to right away. It's also, the spirits move slower if you're slow, so yeah. they don't get to the position you want, and if you jump prematurely, you land uh, oh, too close, and you just die. So The spirits take a while to travel, so you cannot just jump straight in. That's one of the things, and oh, now they're going to try and fight bottom Morphling's there to bait it up, but it's got Eagle Song, double damage, and Lincoln. This Morphling, oh man, oh, the Hex comes out, doesn't have time to morph. No second hex. I think they realized it was possibly bait. They didn't see anyone. They didn't have any vision behind him. But... Okay, yes. Always oh, misses the ballers. Prophet gonna just TP out of this. Oh, hex comes in nope. from Tinker though. 
No, sir. You know, bottom line, so, they better be careful because Everlast may try and gauge. It looks like they're trying to go in here. They threw the Halotera. Blink Hex going in on the Timber Soul. The Surf Wars get dropped as well. Uh oh, TNT taking so much damage here. One Slider Fist will finish him off. The Battle Fury cleaving on down. And well, Enchantress is going to click with two of these Surf Mods. Taking a bit of damage here. Does have the heal on. Gonna be a bit careful. But, uh, he'll be okay here. Chain's blinking forward, throwing missiles. And One of the good things about Thinker is you can always be the team at all times. Yeah, and better to profit. the TP cancel on the profit, and then Tinker shows up with a hack. Yeah, bails him out. So two kills, and now they're gonna they get themselves a tower as well. Not to mention killing off all the Serpent Ward. Ember's going for BKB. So I think it's fine. He doesn't have to be like a like Tinker's kind of like the main carry at this point in a lot of ways. Dyer's middle tower Ember's just like the I don't know, two position hero. Yeah, Tinker is the one position, and boy, you know, you, do you not want to mess with a Tinker? But now there's E Blade, so I mean, Chase has a thousand three hundred health, so he might die. He could use it though. E like you, you one one zero. After you get shotgun, like between before the adapter strike, you can use your heals yourself. Yeah, that's one of the things. I think Chains just experience and thinking far ahead. Oh, it's very, like very intuitive already. of him to actually get the eels right away. He, I'm, I'm sure as a Tinker player, you have matched up against most matchups, so you should know what's what. And Observer what put right on the edge here. I'm not even sure this was possible. Which, uh, which one are we talking about? The bottom rune. On the... Right by the edge. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, right at the tip there, so I don't know. Okay. I always thought it was just a sad amount of places. You know, there, so, uh, there is a, a box. There used to be a spot in Dota 1, like, if you use that on the cliff over in the Radiant Jungle, you can actually block the spawn of the big camp while putting it on the cliff. That spot there. Nope. Overfix. fix. Yeah. Over fix, I guess. Broken game. Dota 2 broken game. Ah, uh, uninstall right after this game. I'm not sure, I don't think unplayable. it was the same on this cliff, because I think, was there also one on this the cliff The map where... is smaller as well, the lanes are smaller yeah. in Dota 2. I think there so may be they're, something they're on this cliff here where you could block the ancients even. I don't remember about that, but d definitely on this this cliff over here, you could block the camp by spawning on top of the cliff if you put it in the right spot. But yeah, I think the there. hitboxes are a lot more complex in Dota 2 than 1. And, well, Morphling, the only one probably safe from the Tinker, I think, at this point. Uh, Invoker does... Oh, yeah, well, I guess... Blink Hex really. is death, anyway. So. Yeah, even if he farms like a BKB. Maybe the Prophet can bail them out. The Prophet's near, uh, Prophet's got Hex as well, so yep. maybe not. You can always TP. And that's where Invoker's got a pretty decent HP. 1500 HP, it'll take a while for the Tinker to bring him down. But Shadow Shaman, Ventral Spirit, these two are just food. So they walk under a ward, they are gonna be in trouble. What, one thing that I think that's lacking from Departure... Oh, no, actually no, they have Enchantress Creeps to serve as... I like to call Pylons for the Tinker, the TP2. Yeah, that's true. No Necro books, but you've got the... Uh... Yeah, there was this one game where there was a Chen, and they planted creeps here in all the <laughs> weird places here for the oh, Tinker to TP to, and I, I just called it the proxy pylon strat. I think it was a Korean game. <laughs> I like so that. Good. good strategy. Okay. And the Observer one gonna get denied now. Good sentry placement. Yep. Dazzle's got a Eel Scepter, wow. This is why there's no mech. It's Enchantress has an Academ Scepter as well. I really want this. I, you get rid of the Orchid, you get rid of potentially the Radiant's Shotgun as well. Tower is under attack. And it, it can break the Morphling Lincolns if you want to use it on that, although maybe not the best idea. It is instant though, that's the thing where if Tinker wants to gank the Morphling, he can use and then instantly hex afterwards. The problem with Laser is it has like a cast time. Yeah. So that's so where once you and Once you pick him up, you can do anything else. What's he getting now? Ultimate or Lincolns? Yeah, well, Tinker not going aggression actually. Not going for the aggressive. I guess Tinker worried about the hex on the prophet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait. Oh wow. We've we've rearm. <laughs> he can have constant Lincolns. I wonder how that's gonna work because especially now that you can Lincolns in your teammate, he could be a defensive Lincoln, kind like, of. Lot your entire team almost. Then. Yeah, oh, wow. I don't know. It, it, it could be cool. Maybe you can only have one person Lincoln at a time. We'll, we'll see how it works. If he gets it. Yeah, he's, there's no other no other item Dyer's with ultimate op in it. Unless you are talking Scardy once again. So, I don't think so. Manta style? Manta style is a legit build. 
on team, or it used to be legit. Oh, build. true, true, true. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, there are a lot more. Used to always go Manta style. Back in Dota One, it was actually a build where you would go double or triple Manta style late game Tinker and use it as like a pushing, and with mass illusion. Triple? Yeah. Well, like at least double Manta style. Like your max six slotted Tinker would have two Manta styles at least, sometimes three. But does it stack? You can't. They share cooldowns. You could do it with the rearm. Like you would rearm and then use a different Manta style. So you could have five to seven, like five six illusions up at a time, and just be pushing. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. It was a really. I think you, I'm sure it should still work in Dota 2. Like if you get multiple Manta styles with uh, rearm. Gonna uh, gonna try it in the lobby. You might have just broken the game with your all strats. It's the same way how uh, you can go double Necrobook Refresher. So you can use, you can have four I thought that, oh man, oh wow, instant BKB, my pros are, nope, wrong neighborhood, sorry my bad, and walks out. But, um, I'm not sure that works anymore, yeah, I think it only works if you do Necro 2 and Necro 3. No, no, it works 100%. Oh boy, you get two. You have to buy two Necro 3s and a Refresher, and then you refresh it, and then you click the other Necro book. Doesn't work with Rearm? I don't know how it works with Rearm. But Mr. Edison's in big trouble right now. There's gonna be a stun here on Dafa. Dafa gonna get caught out. The silence will come as well. He pops the BKB. Grave on him as well. There's gonna be a wind walk away. KS pops his BKB. Now Bangsa Rosie is a pig. There's a swap. Gonna keep him alive. The EMP is gonna be zoning them all out. Dafa is gonna catch that right at the edge. The bench will fall. As a result of that, a whole lot of fighting and ultimate drop. Lots of ultimate drops. And in the end, only a support bench dies. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. See Dota, ladies and gentlemen. All that build up and one support Dada. bench died. Well, Morphing picks up a BKB now. He really needs that BKB. I don't blame him. Everyone's BKB. Yeah. It's uh, Ember it's BKB, Timber BKB. Tinker BKB is fun. <laughs> you can rearm without anyone stopping you. Come get healed. Oh, tornado gonna go through. Scouts on the Rosha and catches up three as well in the Tornado. The EMP also gonna catch a couple. KS hey, yeah. just manages to dodge it. Prophet, I don't know what's his, what he's doing um, actually. He's confused where he wants to TP. He's gonna Snipe TP, the courier. He's gonna TP top, but if Tinker finds him, he can die very easily. No Dagon on Tinker, I don't think so. There you go, he's got Lincoln. Yeah. All right, here. Time to shield your whole team. Oh man, I can't wait for this to happen. Please work. Come on. Apparently, work. you might. I don't know if you can rearm Lincoln's or not. You can you can rearm a lot of things. You cannot. The, I know the, you can't rearm BKB because Tinker used to be so imba when you could rearm BKB, and then they got rid of that. You can't rearm Midas. You can't rearm BKB. BKB definitely no. Oh, you can refresh BKB though. Yeah. I guess I I know that because I've used it before. So on Razor, I guess I get BKB Academy's refresher on my Razor, and I realize I can BKB twice. Ah. I don't know if you can rearm Midas though. No. It's not that broken. It's not that broken. Midas? No, no, I mean uh, refresh Midas. Oh, refresh Midas? Yeah, that would not be broken at all. But I think you probably could. I think refresh works on every item. As far as Maybe. I know. Double deck on five. Rearm is... re re has restrictions, but refresher I don't think has any restrictions. Yeah, but you can perma Ghost Scepter. That's nice. But BKB I think would be kind of unfair. Apparently they got rid of the uh, Mass Manta style Tinker. That's sad, that's like a historic way of tank playing Tinker. Like, you go back five years into the Dota 1 days and every Tinker was doing dual two to three times Manta styles. That was, that was the way of playing the hero. Tinker, we can TP bottom, Morphin's there, waiting, but I don't think Morphin wants to mess with this Tinker. Oh, he <laughs> gets his Lincoln's broken. I also cancel. Oh, he should okay, we'll see if he can rearm it now. Oh, he doesn't rearm Lincoln, so. Okay. Sad. Oh, he gets Oh, he's going. I don't know if it works. Will it work? Maybe. Oh, no, he gets counter hexed. This is the problem we were talking about. Lincoln, the E Blade was blocked, and there's your Eel Scepter yeah. making it work. It's like Chain's thought of everything. The Grave will come out as well. And now, Morphling gets counter Eel. I'm not sure that was the Excellent. right idea, okay. though. Nicely paired with the Tinker, but will get the TP out with the BKB. Nice job by Tinker to get rid of the Replicate instantly, but... That Prophet had to TP in to save the, uh, to save him there. You know, he was lucky. That Lincoln's was still on cooldown from the previous... From the previous, uh, Adaptive Strike. It just came up right after the Prophet Hex. 
If Prophet was like half a second later, I think the Lincolns would have blocked the Hex and maybe more than guys. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, once again. I don't think EMP is that useful against this team. <laughs> At this point, not really. Like, Ember Spirits yeah, they just, they just fly pain. around. And there's Eel Scepter on Lubby, so the only one getting caught would be Visage. Uh, Timbersaw should be able to get out in time. He has BKB as well, so... If you can hit MP. the Ember Spirit with the MP, it's useful. Because he's got a small-ish mana pool. We'll have to see what happens from here. The Prophet, 3000 gold. Still has the Oppo Venom. I think he wants to believe in this card too. I... I think you want to go like Maelstrom here. Maybe he goes BKB as well, we'll see. But I think like a Mjolnir type build is pretty good. <laughs> and it will dispel the Lincolns as well, so you can get lucky procs and break Lincolns. Mjolnir is like probably one of the more cost effective damage items currently in the game. Yeah. With the with the buffs to the, the range on the lightning procs. Chaos is going one for each item now. He's going to crit Battle Fury. And this is why sometimes the drums gets a little bit out of place. You just because sell it later on. Actually. You don't have the um, space left for it. Roshan is out. The drum charges still at three. Ember Spirit hasn't been very diligent with these. Yeah. Most, uh, yeah, that's one of those things. You get five charges, you may as well just spam them because later on you're selling your drums. Like it's not a permanent item to have the entire game. Ah. Mr. Morphling, yeah, he's got an E Blade. And like the BKB, it's like the variants of the Manta style since they're not pushing anywhere because of chains. I think the BKB, it's kind of good because it gets you out of the E-Blade, you this, can continue right-clicking. This Morphling is 1-1-0. One, one, and zero. He's only been in one of these kills. Typical contribution. Yeah. But yeah, you would think there would be more though. kills on a shotgun. Yeah. yeah, He hasn't been able to use it, he tried to use it on Tinker, it doesn't work. The Dazzle, and the Dazzle keeps saving people. Everyone's just a bit too tanky. We'll see what he gets next. Oh, Ventral Spirit is yeah, still stuck at Tranquil Bracer as well. But then, and there we go, the Red Stick. Dagon. That don't come oh, out. But but he does sack his uh, Soul Ring, so there'll be no mana spam now. But he has a lot of mana regen. Yeah, his mana re like It's only, what, 150 mana? It's not really worth it anymore. I want to see his mana regen, to be honest. And now Timbersaw coming in. He does have... Yeah, he doesn't have any disables, though. So it's just going to be a little bit of aggression, Ventral Spirit, Illusion. It's gonna be there, they hex it up. Yeah. Nothing too much to cry about. 32 mana regeneration per second, I think that's pretty nice. But he still spends a lot of mana, so he only has a little bit of space to yeah. work around. Normally with Soul Ring, you can keep it up a lot longer. Especially the level 1 Dagon, he can't, he's, he's, this is all about getting the Dagon level 5. Because as a Tinker, it's actually, like, level 1 Dagon's not that good, because it eats so much of your mana. You need the max out Dagon. Yeah, he's getting 2 now, so... Yeah. It's, it's looking better, and... Dagon's cooldown doesn't really matter for him, so... Yep. KS. Still looking towards the crit. Once the Daedalus and... Mm. One Battle Fury will do this he game, but... He's, he's been on this Crystallis for a while. Like... Yeah, so... This is, I don't know, I feel like he should have more items. He's, he's a full 10k behind the Tinker, which I guess is... Yeah, the thing about Tinker is he steals all the team's yeah. farm. Uh, XP, XP Graph is about only 1,000, the Gold Graph 4,000. So this is still quite a close game, although you can feel departure creeping ahead uh, in terms of hero types, because Venge does fall, out after, yeah. uh, fall off after a while. You can't swap anyone in without really doing any harm. Maybe you swap in the Dazzle, blow him up. But... I feel like, this, like Enchantress falls off though quite a bit. Like... Well, she has the eggs and Impetus and yeah. now going for Necro 3, so I guess that's fine. We'll see. Um, Everlast, they've got a Prophet who's getting more and more farm. Morphling's getting up to 4k gold now as well, so... I think if Morphling and Invoker both get another big item, like if Invoker can farm a Hex this game, I think maybe Everlast have an okay chance, like at least, at least like a close to a 50% chance in the late game. Like I think their late game matches up okay against First Departure. Well, Morphling is still looking to its uh, new item. I'm rich I as hell. Manta style's good here. Yeah, Manta would be good. Illusions just to confuse the Tinker and make it harder it for hurts. you. Maybe Scotty. I think someone's got to get a Scotty this game. And Morphling Scotty is actually legit. Yeah. Tornado will fly. Trying to push. How do you push against a Tinker without? This is what I was saying. They need a jump hero where like Bat Rider, Storm Spirit, where you just need to know where he is and just get it before he can actually react. Morphling is not that kind of hero though, so... I'm gonna find the Ember Spirit here, but I don't think he wants to go... He's not going for this kill. 
I think he's nearby as well, so he TP's bottom, but... Chains, back on three. Yeah, he's he's getting it. This is where he's going to just destroy Zap. people. And you can see where the supports are hanging. They're hanging in the base. They don't want to feed yeah, him. They've got to. I don't think there's any other option. They're picking up braces here. At this point, they almost need like just a casual cloak to give them more H to give them more survivability in HP. But not much they're more. They're gonna they can smoke do. into rush. Uh, no, they're not. That's a no. that's a trend there. Yeah, they haven't got the best rush killing lamp either. The radiant team's actually a really poor rush killing lineup. Tinker and Ember Spirit both bad for rush. They're gonna they go have right the Enchantress are tanking though. Oh, this could be big. The smoke was broken. No, Trin spots them out, and Morphling, he has BKB, so he's just gonna run away. Nothing to go through BKB. Pop to BKB, which is his, what? It was his 9 second misclick on the Misclick on the cliff. It's a 9 second BKB, yeah. But misclick on the cliff as well. Panic. I don't think it matters. The first departure, I mean, much like they can't kill Roshan easily, they can't push easily. They've got no right click damage. They have to destroy the enemy before they can push yeah. up, so this might be a long game. They can go Roshan, like you say, the Enchantress can tank it, but it'll be a pretty slow Roshan kill because their damage output is not very impressive. This is... This is going to take them a while. Tornado from the high ground. <laughs> I like my pro's position. Chains, though, he's uh, being a pest. For a moment, I thought he went for Manta style, but nope. Yeah, the man. dream. I think first departure just can't commit to Roshan. They don't have enough damage output. They're also I like to see Enchantress actually enchanting the illusions, like you said. The Tinker one. The Morphling illusions, yeah. yeah. It'll be fun. <laughs> you see, it's just Tinkers fighting Tinkers. It's a war of the machines. <laughs> <laughs> They're little blue Tinkers fighting each other. Not even proper Tinkers. And Morphling Tinker is the best. OP. Nerf, please. Right. 5,800 gold. I feel he needs to buy something now. Yeah. We'll see what Butterfly? Maybe not. I don't think he needs evasion. No, he definitely doesn't need evasion. Just more agility to just yeah. pour out well, on I guess that's where you go like the Scotty instead. If you want just more stats. Yeah. But... Manta style for the dispel yeah. of nonsense. I think laser dispelling. Style. I think dispelling lasers. Oh, wow. That's 700 gold, too. That's a big kill. And the mana pause. So. Oh, he popped BKB? Yeah, I think his keyboard it's, went out. Yeah, I think it was a hockey like, problem. Yeah! And spams it. But he, he turned on Glyph as well. I think yeah. that was him. Because the Glyph came yeah. on at the same time as BKB earlier. I think he's having some hockey problems, unfortunately, which is a Glyph and the BKB being used, used slash wasted. Yeah. 4,000 gold on Invoker. I feel they're all just saving up their trust funds now. And they're not doing anything. 3,000 on profit. I, I agree that you should save for buyback, but this is obsessive. Yeah. That's 3,000 gold you could spend and still have buyback on the Invoker. Okay, well... I mean, this it's... Well, you can't get a whole lot with 3,000 gold. Like, you can maybe buy your ultimate ult for your Hex, but... Not gonna be a huge different making. Shadow Shaman's actually farmed a BKB, so support Shadow Shaman with BKB. He's one six and three. He's done very little this game, TNT. But at this point in the fight, he can get a blink hex off on like someone like a Tinker or an Ember Spirit. That could be something which can change the way a fight pans out. Yeah, he's been he's caught up. Earlier on when he got his blink dagger, I was quite surprised because he's been doing very badly this whole game. But now well, he surprised me and. I guess that's what you get for just sitting around for 45 minutes in the middle lane that's constantly pushed up by Tinker. That's one of the things, if you are not actually pushing or stopping a push with Tinker, you're actually denying your entire team farm and after a while you get saturated and it's times like that when change should stop farming. Yeah. I feel. Well. Or maybe just keep at the lane or push with his team. Because you can't really damage towers. That's one of the things I think that is a uh, downside. Yeah, you need that like secondary semi carry, like your nature's prophet type hero or whatever it may be, or at least like teammates to get necro books, something to help you push high ground. But they don't really have it, so. Enchantress is going for that. But... I don't know if Enchantress is. Well, Enchantress bought this belt of giant strength ages ago. This was like a, before the Aghanim scepter came out. He, she had arcanes plus belt of giant strength. So I don't know if this is going to be a necro book. It's almost too late for Necro Book. It's just not gonna make that big of a difference. So Basher. <laughs> I think just casual belt, maybe. I think you would go like another hex, I guess. Uh, casual belt seems strange though. 
Yeah. Well, she she bought this at like 15 minutes in the game. So it's been a casual belt for a long, long time. I think I think she's just saving all five dollars. What? What you gonna buy? Don't buy. Sell roti. Sell bread. Roti is bread. <laughs> So I think that's what it means. Uh, although it's R O T I, you might just be having a play on words. But now the Tinker is going to be bomb lane, and well, the action has stopped quite a bit. It was kind of fun for the early game, but now it's just become a slow roll of yeah. split push. Yeah, got a Dagon Five like... Tinker, but there's no kills coming from him. Well, he hasn't picked up the Dagon Five. He's got the money for it, but maybe thinking I mean, he needs buyback. Everlast the uh, Zephyr Slayers. Yeah. Zephyr Slayer is looking alright here against First Departure. This is a single elimination match. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament. The winner of this goes on to the best of three finals against Execration. There is a lot at stake here. Oh man, come on. Stop saving for that condo. They what really need... Oh, heart of heart. Rask. Do you Can you morph strength into agility? Not oh, like plus strength, bonus but... strength? No? No, no. no. So... I don't know, why guess, would you get it? I guess he's because he's always getting harassed, so it's more for like the regen, but like you should just get Satanic, I feel. Like Satanic, you ah. don't get as much strength, but you get the lifesteal. Hmm. Oh man, he's going full, ag full agility, yeah. boys! He's still got 2.3k HP, so... I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the Heart Morphling. Yeah, I would like Skadi. I, mean, I just think, like, yeah, Skadi or even Satanic, I feel, is better than the Heart, if you really want the plus. It's time to drop the Midas, Thanks. but this guy doesn't want to let go. Bloody tanky right now, how this works for him. I mean, a last item Midas, or maybe even a crit, you know, just very off at now. Yeah, he's gonna drop the Midas home, sell it off. Hold the TP, I think he still needs travels and one more item, so he's got a choice whether he wants to go with yours. Uh, I don't think Satanic's clever at this point, I think you need Scotty a crit even for the damage. Damage, yeah, I think you're right. Crit. Crit is probably... yeah, crit's, crit's not a bad choice. It's There's fast, no evasion, so... Alacrity, so. crit, I think, I think maybe rapier. he's just relying. <laughs> maybe, he's You're so big. tanky he might not die as well. And Alacrity on him is going to make him hit really hard, so... I think that's good. He yeah, blinks out of the way, bottom lane, blocking a... Oh, it's a... Oh, bolt snap? Ah, oh, Orchid from the Invoker. Well? Who, who are your, your models on here, Lysander? Who's, who's going to take this game? I... <laughs> I don't know who had to call this one. I mean, okay, if it drags on a little bit more, I would say Everlast got this because Morphling is nigh unstoppable. I don't care if your Tinker is fat, but it, it could be tough for them because um, once, if you drag this on really late, Academ Scepter Rasta can really punch a hole through your buildings really quickly. Yeah. And you don't want to fat Prophet as well because, I mean, Prophet, not like he needs any help. He's sitting at 4,800 4, gold. I don't know what he wants to get. I think da damage for sure. It's just what kind of damage. Whether you go Daedalus, whether you go Mjolnir. Timbersaw go... becomes crap after a while. So yeah, I, don't... I think Timbersaw and Enchantress both become kind of crap. Timbersaw has the benefit of having a Hex. So he's even though his damage output's going to fade off, he still has a Scythe of Ice. And Whirling Death is percentage-based. So, uh, But there are no Strength Heroes, so yeah. no, no point. Yeah, that's true. So... Uh, I'm, yeah, I agree. The Timbersaur is not going to remain as effective uh, as long as this game goes. They still can rely on the weave and uh, balance, just chopping everything apart. But everyone's saving for buyback here, so this is this is Wait, one of those games. Where are Ember Spirit's items? He's not been farming anything. Four thousand gold, man. That's not very impressive for fifty minutes, though. Yeah, uh, still eight. No, the, the thing is, Tinker has been stealing all the farm. That's what I. That's what I was saying. Chain has three thousand gold and maxed out items, so. Yeah. I don't know why he's still farming. He's stealing his team's farm. He should stop. Well, he should stop going to the jungle if he wants to get any farm, but I don't even think he should. He should only push if it gets too near the tower. And even then, I don't think he should push anymore. Yep. It's not a good idea. He should just go and kill things. Uh, push up his team and get something done. Because the more he farms here, the more it's going to cause trouble for his team. This is the only reason why his team is so poor because yeah. Tinker's got all the farm. If you look at the net, if you look at the last hits, it's 500 on the Tinker alone. Yeah, he's still farming. Like he can maybe drop his Yule Scepter and get the the shotgun, but I don't even know if that's the right way to go about this. Invoker's looking for him, but Invoker's 6.3k gold probably going to be a side of vice as his uh, 
next big item, but more focus on having buyback at some point. And they are going to go for a push at bottom lane now. About bloody time, Lysander. Nope, they're not yep. going for it. Mjolnir is going to be coming up for solo tick, though, so he's going to harness the power of lightning. Yeah. Give this Ember Spirit some farm, Tinker. What are you doing, Chains? Yeah, Chains is doing it wrong now. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely not the way to go. This is negative. There's a problem with farming too much. I think Mushi used to have this problem as well, where he yeah. just built up his 10k trust fund and just lost his team in the game because he farmed too long. I think these teams have some like mutual agreement, like, let's... Let's try and break some records as to how long this game can last. I mean, if you're pushing out, at least go for Roshan. I don't know why they're not going. They've got such a bad Rosh lineup, though. Whenever they go in there, Everlast just push out the lanes using Profit and then come and contest it. Like, they can't go Roshan fast enough. Especially Roshan, he's looking like up to 14k HP. This is a tanky, tanky Roshan. Oh, well, if they ever buff Dagon into an unlimited thing. Oh my god, that would be that would be the, the dream for people who save up 10k gold and can just get like a Dagon 13. <laughs> oh man, what is that? <laughs> Dagon 13 would do 1700 damage. Oh, I love that. That just sounds like an amazing idea. I'm, I'm, I'm getting on the phone to Ice Frog now as we, we speak. That's why we're not Ice Frog. Or oh, are we? PGG is Ice Frog. What are you talking about? Uh, I always thought Cyborg was Ice Frog. Bruno's Ice Frog. I'm Ice Frog. We all have a little bit of Ice Frog in us. And they're just murdering Trent at this point. And yep. turning Forge Spirits on their master and themselves. So the two brothers. Uh, just kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna watch his brother die. Not feel a thing because he's got a girl now. <laughs> Prophet. Uh, he has picked up the Maelstrom, so it will be a Mjolnir build coming out from him, which is good because you're late game. You need that lightning damage just to clear creep waves and just have some extra AoE on your side. Hmm. Lobby. Still no mechanism, so mechanism too mainstream well, in this game. At, this, at 53 minutes in, mech is not even worth getting. None of these teams even bought it. They know, like, alright, we're gonna just farm Force, it up. Full staff is much better than mech in late game, because full staff can the actually save lives. Mech does not really. 250 HP does not save anyone's life. Yeah, that, there is Positioning this one, that's will save one problem life. with this game, though. This game, it drags out. It's gonna tire them for the following best of three coming up. Look at this. Look at this, this oh. gold graph when they were most recent kills. There was a tower killed around the 43 minute mark. There was a hero killed around the, what, like 30... 30... That was the... Uh, that was the shotgun top tower on the Venge? No, that's the Enchantress killing the Venge. Okay. According to our gold I, I graph, thought, that I was thought the there was a kill. shotgun into a panic PKB. Yeah, on the Enchantress. You're right. Uh, I'm not sure where that is. Maybe it's not showing oh, up. Oh, please. But yeah, according to our gold graph, the last kill was like 20 minutes ago almost. I don't think it's quite right, but... And these guys aren't even fully Chinese. No. Well... Tinker? What's he... Is he oh, he bought a Bloodstone. He dropped his Yules, gets a late game Bloodstone. Interesting. He's not getting any extra Bloodstone charges right now. But... I oh, Roshan? Please go for it. Just, just, just go. Come on, you save up for that buyback and you don't go for Roshan, it just hurts. Oh, they might jump Duff out here. Maybe? They could jump him. Yeah, nah. Pretty easy. Yeah. Easy, easy kill I, to get a Hex. Yeah, he, Prophet can come in. Now, yeah. what's the Morph thing doing there? That's a guaranteed kill with a Prophet TP Hex, but... Alright, let's, let's get really excited in the next kill, okay? Let's get yeah. super excited. <laughs> Happy 31st kill of the game. Let's celebrate. You're like the DKIG game. <laughs> Ventral Spirit with a Blink Dagger. Happy Blink Dagger, guys. <laughs> yeah, Blink Dagger is good. Legit stuff. Mr. Edison. Have you, have, you, have you tried it? Oh man, with level 16, it's like... It's like Bat Rider without the danger. Yeah. You swap, it's you immediately so blink out. Alrighty. Well, Prophet... Oh, sorry, Invoker now picks up a Hex as well. Still has buyback, so... Safety first. Everlast uh, coming to the battlefield. With, uh... Fully equipped. <laughs> I'm, this is just... This guy in chat, what we need now is one of those C 40 minute pauses. <laughs> you know, the one thing I can ha say I happily happened today is SEA Dota was starting on time. Our first game That's started... we are hosting it. Maybe. Our first game started on time and this game started like maybe five minutes late. Which to me, I'm I, I can say I'm proud of. <laughs> yeah. 
be on the schedule, not that bad, huh? When we're casting SCA best of the best, there was a game starting 45 minutes late. Yeah, well. Which was which was quite uh, painful to sit through as well as for the viewers as well as just the uh, the this general must, impression of the SEA scene. This must be a... Uh, I don't know the stats on this, but this must be the longest time for the second Roshan to fall. Yeah, both teams are just so scared to go for and it. The Radiant, the Radiant have so much control over this. Well, yeah, they're finally going in. They have control, Dazzle no and damage. when you have three, that when you have a level 22 hero, I mean... Roshan is very yes. doable, got a especially plan with Enchantress creeps. You shouldn't have problems. Well, their damage output sucks ass. Look, Chaos is losing to Roshan. Roshan is just beating him. Oh, a kill! Woo! <laughs> Timbersaur, it's a gem. It's a gem. Gems all around. Woo! Celebrate. Dyer's top tower. Pop the confetti. Attack. But no, really, the Enchantress needs to create some creeps in, and he. And they go get Roche. Ember's group was getting owned by Roche. <laughs> they need an em Enchantress. Enchantress creeps and not yeah. happening. Or Enchantress just needs to tank it. Because they can have Tinker pushing out lanes while the other three heroes go Roach, but didn't really work for him. Alright, I'm, I'm pulling out the champagne. We've had our first kill in 20 minutes, Lysander. Huh. Although that kill doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't show up on the gold graph. I don't know if that's because of like the pause or. Vovo like, gave up. Yeah. I think they realized like this game is. This game sucks. We're, we're done. <laughs> We call it quits, guys. And then, uh, the Treant says, You guys want to take Roche? I'll do it. Nope. No, that Treant did about as well as the Ember Spirit did at Roche. Pretty pathetic. <laughs> oh, the second side. Let me at him. You guys clearly Morphling don't know how to fight. Boots of travel. He, he just jab at a weak point, yo. So Morphling goes Scotty plus Boots of Travel. Alright. So... <sighs> eh. Why do you have a Heart of Terras? This could be a Satanic. Satanic gives you what? Like, a little Sorry, less strength? Just the farm another 10 minutes and he can... Rectify this error. I'm gonna compare. Dude, let's do some math. So you get 40 strength and 300 health from a heart. You get 25 strength from a satanic. Okay, so you get a lot of extra HP from a heart of Taras, but at this point, having the life steal makes such a big difference. Not to mention I'm the satanic gonna, uh, effect. I'm just gonna give him the benefit of a doubt and say that alacrity is what he's relying on. Yeah. He hasn't got the wraith king. If you had the wraith king, then there's your life steal, but. Oh, he's two shorting setters, so... That, that at least is going well for him. The Wilkin is like... Oh, they're gonna meet their end. Stolen no, by the Prophet, they're still Morphling, farming. Morphling go full strength and just be a tank. Be like, Prophet Invoker, you guys do the right-click damage. Let's see Invoker get a Daedalus, and Morphling's like, I'll tank for you guys. Goes he full has strength. one strength and 3,000 health. Yeah, imagine, imagine if he goes full strength. Yeah. <laughs> He can, well, he can have plus 161 strength, and that's what, about, well, 19 strength for each one. How much, how much HP is that? What your calculator That's Dazzle Omelette, could be coming. Nope, Lincoln's break, and there goes all engagement. Lincoln's for broke, Lysander, celebrate! <laughs> We're going to have to start cheering for Lincoln's being disabled. This yeah, reminds me of the DKIG right. game in, um... Yeah. Uh, now you don't want to take Roshan, it's going to give in to the Dyer, and they will not be able to contest this. And I think at this point, first departure uh, on the back foot. It One bad like fight, and it's really, really well, bad for everyone's going to have buyback, so a bad fight is only like... It's just like, it's hey, just let's all buy back. 7,000 gold, and you refuse to pick up a Mjolnir. On profit? Mm-hmm. What, what a jerk. Now you're sending the, the Korean now? Oh, no, it's just, it's just a freaking smoke. 10 second BKB Midas at 60 minutes. We have spent an hour looking at farm simulator. Oh boy. Farming simulator it would be more thrilling than this game. Have you no, played take farming it back. simulator? I don't want to see chains on his tinker anymore. I I have been left unimpressed by his late game decision. Well, late game play. His, he was great early on, got incredibly fast. He farmed so fast, but. This departure cannot win this game right now, it feels like. They just... what do they do? <laughs> Chat's cheering with us. Sadly, there's a two-minute delay, so... We're already done with the cheering. Uh, we're, we're past that. And now we're back to... Well, we might see a push here. Everlast... Rapier! Oh! Now we can cheer! <laughs> Let's go! Oh! <laughs> I feel like he had to do this. Like First departure had no other options. Even with this rapier, his damage output's still not that crazy. Like, Morphling's got 35 armor. 
Okay, this is where it ends. This mm. is where it ends. At least they give free rares. Let's read out the guys that uh, got the rares. Chinese guy, what? what's that name? I don't know what thing lighter. So, what? soldiers uh, arriving? Something, I don't know. Something soldiers are arriving. He's Alliance, Alliance fan. fanboy. Yeah, Alliance fan. Yeah. That's what we'll call him. Alliance fanboy. All right, Alliance fanboy got the divine rapier rare. Worst got the divine rapier rare, and Heaven Six yep. got the divine rapier. If you guys rare. want to win some item drops, check out the inaugural Dota TV ticket. It's only one dollar, and you can win some awesome rares. And don't listen to the guy called Twitchbot. So that guy is totally not legit. I think I, I banned him before. Uh, he got his brother Twitchbot Seven to come in. So I'm He's thinking. still in the chat. I didn't, I didn't see Twitchbot Seven, but maybe our hammers got to him. Okay. Security hammers. Yeah. <laughs> Lysander, you're on security duty. This game doesn't need casting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't worry. Time to moderate chat. You got this solo casted. Uh, but I think the divine rapier with crit could happen here. I want to see. Oh it. He boy. needs two divine rapiers. Five hundred with sleight of fist. That. The cell drums get more rapier. Seven. Yeah, 700 with the Daedalus crit, 1,400, no, no more than 1,400, it will be close to 2,000 crit plus cleave. Alright, T2 tower oh. down boys, let's go. Yeah, yeah, hide the rapier, wipe them out, and then go for a final push where they cannot prepare with items. Alright, yeah. this is it. Well, Everlast are going to have, what, let's, I'm not sure why I'm looking at net worth, let's look buyback. And Miss Spirit has no buyback, which is fine because he's got Divine Rapier. Timbersaw and Ventral Spirit, the only other two heroes with no buyback, and VS is only 300 gold short. What's Timbersaur actually bought? He bought a Lincoln's, it looks like, which prevents him from having buyback? I guess it's yeah. an okay item. I don't know. I, I really felt that the Radiant could have gotten the, the Roshan there. Enchantress had Untouchable. What the, what they, were they, doing? they just had no. zero damage. I mean, Enchantress takes literally no damage from Roshan. So, yeah. eventually you get him killed. But you also so deal you, no damage. So long you beat the HP regen of Roshan, which is not that high to be honest. And now they're squandering away the Aegis time, so I don't know what they're doing. I thought there was going to be a push, they got a tier 2 tower, and that's that. So. Yeah. Timbersaw picks up another gem. Besides... Oops. Oh, the kills are registering now. Oh, first departure, CD and Voker Invis up top. I saw the Ghost Walker effect then. They're still hiding the Rapier, hopefully. Yeah, maybe, right. yeah. Watch a creep wave disappear! I think he's been spotted, but at this point it's like, well, I, I don't think it's going to, Everlast I don't think see they spotted in... him yet, yeah. Well, I, I don't yeah. think hiding it's going to make too big a, diff too big of a, a deal. No, so that uh, they don't focus on him, they, they, don't, they don't think about That's hexing true. him first, or not clumping up, or something like that. I mean, a good... I'm, well, I imagine they're, they're going to yeah. use Lincolns on it. Like, I, Timbersaw will probably put his Lincolns on the Ember Spirit. Boy, I think he should. Definitely should, there are a lot of hexes here, and... He just needs uh, a while. Hey, he has BKB anyway, and the Slash comes across, they got a wonder why the creep wave evaporates, and they have not checked this item yet. Yeah, they say stay away, they say stay away. They tell them to stay away, and now, oh, Morphling! Okay, that's very aggressive, they destroyed the tower, so, that is that. Okay, gold Morphling. 4,000 Shadow Shaman, here comes your Aghanim Scepter, or not. needs his refresh, this is where you get your refresher at base, to just refresh your BKB. Yeah, like, I, I have a courier one. following you yeah. around. It's the new meta where you have seven, eight item slots, and you have a courier following you around with an item which you then like replace with a another item whenever you need it. Uh, you, rape you here. swap out item. I think Ember Spirit oh. goes another rape. Do you go? I guess maybe a second Daedalus. I don't know what's more damage. It's probably second rape. You're probably more. You already have the. Yeah, but you get like Radiant's extra crit percent chance. Like, even though it's diminishing returns, it's still more crit chance. Well. At least we got a rapier. Someone yeah. got rares. Yeah, I want to see, yeah, I want to see another rapier. Yeah. He's only uh, 2k gold short of one. You can definitely farm one. <laughs> the farm. Uh, well, okay then. Let's sit back and farm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of a way to make this interesting. Because that's He's the ultimate story, challenge. Of the yeah, why not? You got any good stories? I don't know, Aegis is reclaimed now, so... <laughs> that's not a good story. That's... That's the, uh... The monotonous... Give me that, says Roshan, as he calls out from the other world. I don't get... Yeah, but who's actually reclaiming the Aegis? Like, for saying to be reclaimed, someone has to be taking it back. Roshan's currently dead, so who's actually reclaiming the Aegis? Maybe it just evaporates in your hands, and... 
Yeah. Aegis is made out of regen runes, everyone knows that. So, Valve needs to change the wording so that it's not Aegis being reclaimed. It, it says something else. A reclaim can be a loose sense of the word. And, oh, Roshan by just... the Dota gods or something. Yeah. We should just comment about the little things. Look at this anime flag that Eplast has. I was wondering Game what that anime filling. was. Do you know what this is? Nope, I don't watch anime, so I don't know. You're not a very good Asian, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not really a. Uh, I did say on another cast, wasn't oh, it? Oh, here we go. Game filling, is this what it's called? Yeah, game filling, but I don't think it's that. But it could be just a commission art for the company. But I told LD the other day, I, I'm a, I consider myself to be pretty white for an Asian person. I have a lot of. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I don't do a lot of Asian stuff. Not good at math, don't watch anime. The only thing Asian about me probably my accent and my looks. And even then I don't have the small eyes. <laughs> so uh, I kinda feel like Sandra. I guess you're allowed to be racist the end here. Yeah, but Your own I, I I really kinda like the I, I take all these jokes very you know, in good spirit. I don't I don't really care when people say that, oh Asians are supposed to have small eyes and stuff like that. <laughs> I see you spinning the camera, making people dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they see the they see the rapier now. Yeah, I oh, they, I mean it's been like ten minutes. They have to have seen it. No, he's been staying in the shadows, but now yeah. the observer was spots him up. <laughs> kind of staying in the shadows. Okay, now no. He's not been staying in the shadows that much. Okay, it's only a thousand damage so far. He's not got that enough for another rapier. This is where you pull out number two. You've got him one, like, this drum is useless. Pick up another rapier. If he goes like some pussy item like a Lincoln's here, I'll be disappointed. I don't know, I can't even make fun of this game. Revenge well, off on the farm boat. This this VS. Why would you get Shadow Blade now, solo tick? Did he? Wait. No, he's, he's still. No, why would you still have it? I think uh, it's rapier time. There's the gem on Timby. I... yeah, I don't know. <laughs> rapier time for profit. Here's crit. Can't do it. 7k rapier, gold in the spirit. You, you might kill someone inside Let's of... Go. Uh, Let's go, number 2. Yeah, he's running there. Come on. Alright, he sold the drums. Clear out mid. Buy rapier. Roshan respawning. Time to Perfect throw. time. Sell your boots, get ages, walk around with remnants. Easy. Radiant's dun, dun, middle dun, tower dun, is dun, under dun, attack. Dun, dun, dun. Well. Ember can be a sex slot guy without without shoes, can be that useless Medusa. I wanna see a, I don't know, like, Radiance four Divine Rapier plus attack. two Battle Fury Ember Spirit. Like, drop your boots, drop your BKB, more Divine Rapiers. BKB is for wussies anyway. Oh yeah. You've got- Here we go. It's Rapier. Yeah, Divine Rapier. Kong. Justin, Shuyin, and Korean words. The Koreans. Oh, don't learn from this. Nope. I think that was one of the. Was that one of the Korean casters even? Or maybe. Do not try this at home. I'm not sure. Oh, Prophet TP's in. Find the Alpha. Sell the Shadow Blade. Get a rapier. Okay, this is the Roshan contest, and okay, let me just see the efficiency of the teams. Uh, Radiant has not picked up the. Yeah, smoke the seeds. Let me see. Radiant, Dire, Windy, and the Roshan pit. Yeah, Radi Radiant's the Radiant shop has two smoke the seeds that they did not buy up. So I I really think when you have so much success money, you should just buy all these because the these are resources that come back only every ten minutes, and you never know when you might need the smokes. Small Question things for you, Lysander. Yeah. You think Roshan is male or female? I don't know. Male. I have a. I, I used to have a PE teacher called Roshan, Mr. Uh, Mr. Roshan. I'm not even kidding. Or is he like without gender, or she? Uh, no, it's a. He was a dude. I had a PE teacher called Mr. Roshan. Well, no, I'm saying it, well, the Dota Roshan. Does yeah, Roshan dude, have a gender, that's... and is it a is it a guy or girl? I don't know. Let's let's try and zoom in. <laughs> so I, was spending, I just spent like 30 seconds zooming in. I'm like, well, not much proof of anything right there. Oh, yeah. It's first to party go. Oh, look at the shotgun, it chances to melt. Kill! Oh my kill! god. Go. Right. Kill! The it's weave. the rapier time. Come on! Rapier! The weave. 
Enchantress not even buying back. Why? Why? They're gonna TP home and defend bottom, oh, aren't they? Big, big, yeah, this big, isn't even big. a big creep wave at this point. No. Uh, oh, Tinker? Yeah, Tinker can do it. See, I feel like everyone is under the assumption that Roshan's a guy, but I don't feel like there's any... Is there any actual, like, lore or, like, Dota basis for that, that Roshan's male? I get any... Uh, um... No, 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 Ages of Immortal says the Immortal was said to own a shield that protected him from death. There you go. Him. Okay. Oh, BKB is popped. Some BKB is popped. Save the Rape here. No, my pro getting caught out. Invoker. Bounce of Roti dominating spree. That's a dazzle hitting the deck. And now Darfa in a lot of trouble. They jab him. BKB not even useful. It's time for a third Rape here, KS. It's time. Back. Does he? Oh. No third yet. He's BKB's on cooldown though. This is where you need like a Divine Rapier in your career. Like you pop your BKB, pick up your third Divine Rapier or something. It's the Divine Rapier. Let's see some slide of fist. Whoa! That one has fallen. got Morphling down pretty low. This Morphling, I guess the Heart of Taras can help against the slide of fist spam because you get the regen. 72 okay, HP I got a, a second. I got a question for you now. Um, who do you think is at fault for, for this stall game? Volvo. Have lost or departure? I blame Volvo. <laughs> Please oh, this tweet cheese. at Volvo. This is cheese. Well, I don't know if cheese matters at this point. Aegis kind of matters. Put the Aegis on Profit or Invoker. I think Invoker, yeah, he's taking it. 9k gold Invoker. What on earth? Are we going to break the record? 98 minutes, Lysander. That's that's the uh, the benchmark. That's the longest game competitive Dota game in history. 95? 98, I, don't think I think it was. I don't think this goes that long. Me neither, but if we can do it... I will not be happy. I will not be proud of that. I will not. 100 will be nice. Oh, maybe we hit that time, you know, when Lumi casted and like, fire erupted from the ground. Like, you broke the game. Congratulations. Yeah. Now end it! <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I see a ping for Mantis style drop tier. Like Who's Mantis style with that? I think maybe Could be. He's got a Bloodstone. I, I think Revival time is very important now. How is he not level 25? I don't know. Chains is such a scrub. Yeah, look at the Tinker's going, he's going like 8 slotted Tinker. He's going to have all these items like in his stash or something. He's got his own closet. Like, hmm, what should I wear today? Mom! Decisions, I have decisions. nothing to wear! Oh uh, well. I'm going to go with the Manta style today. Look like a Manta. Um, we could go spooky, save it for Halloween. Uh, doesn't have his Christmas outfit just yet. Needs some Shiva's guard for that. Invoker spends some of his 10k gold, but buys a freaking. Something we just sold, I don't know. He sold Dagon. Ah, uh, Tinker did. Oh boy. Yeah. Is he. Oh, he's Shiva's guard. He's like. He's kind yeah. of beside what he, he wants. He listened to me. He listened to me. It's like he needed his. He has his. You look at his wardrobe right now. He's got Manta style. And he's got his Halloween ghost scepter. He should have just kept the Shiva's Dagon 5 for good looks. Like, just to have a fully equipped wardrobe. It's not about. Practic practical. It's just about having as many shoes as possible. Don't get any and girl. They, they don't care about it. Screen. Yeah, having nine items and every hero has buyback except Shadow Shaman. So I, I Everlast can't actually win this game unless they somehow like five v ten. Because that's what they got to do right now. All right, here we go. I don't even want to. I don't even want to move around the camera. Morphling's bought a second BKB. Oh yeah, he's got a new nine second BKB. Twelve thousand gold. He needs to do the the refresher thing. Like you buy back, you refresh your BKB. I don't know if he's aware. Why would that you, you do, that do that when you can buy a new one? You've got twelve thousand gold. Well, it's on cooldown. That's the problem. Like if you if you die, like BKB die, and then you re you buy back, you won't have BKB. He buys a fucking Ag Scepter. Who does that? <laughs> Who? What? Make up your bloody mind. Sells his yours, buys age. Ags. Lasers this is for like flashbacks to um, CTY when he was anti mage and like sold his battle fury, bought a hex, sold the hex and rebought his battle fury. Well, I don't know. Your what goddamn freaking mind, Jack. Yeah. So wait, he sold his Lincoln, sold his Dagon Five, sold his Yule Scepter, and bought a Manta, Shivers, Bloodstone, and Ag Scepter. I think he can. I think Morphling can actually. Oh well, look at this. I'm. I'm Land shop out of money. I'm going home. No, I'm Land already shop at out home, of but... You guys got this. You got twelve thousand gold for God's sake. Just, just a click my hero on the ground. There's only one winner this game, Lysander. 
It's not First Departure. It's not Everlast. It's definitely not us. Definitely not the viewers. It's it's the shopkeepers because they're making so much fucking money. <laughs> oh man. These shopkeepers are are raking it in this game. Yeah, the Vietnamese casters complaining. Look at that tsunami nori. These are one of the. These are one of those games where you don't want it to be a solo cast. Oh yeah. <laughs> even as even as a co caster, I'm like, this is terrible. Yeah, these are one of those games. These are the kind of games that Valve are looking to weed out. But despite how Ice Rock is trying to speed up the metas, games like these still happen. Yeah. Well, they've got a. Pimp Muckles maybe come in. maybe if he's got starts 99 by minutes. We've got to reach 99 minutes to break the record. 99 minutes, five seconds. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe if he just uh, if he just removes Nature's Prophet or you know make teleport like two minutes cooldown, it will fix all this. I put Wrath of, Wrath of Nature as a normal skill. Teleports the ultimate. <laughs> uh. I think that will be more fun. Well, let's let's take a look at the gold graph. We haven't done that in a while. It's dead even. Stamped the rats. Uh, the only graph that matters now is um, buyback. Buyback. And yeah. it's all yes except for shadow poor men. <laughs> buyback. Fancy what Lincoln's over Agonims? What kind of a wuss to see? Who did? Who did that? Shadow oh, shaman. Yeah. But Lincoln's over Agonims. Yeah, I guess it's like it's so late that Agonims maybe doesn't make too much of a difference. I don't know. Forty-four k net worth. Current gold. I, li I like this tab. <laughs> Current gold tab. <laughs> Look at Shall we all chat fight, please? <laughs> oh, that would be fun. It's 17 for 17 right now. These are the hardest keys ever won if there are actually keys on these games. Oh my god. Players are thinking. Alright, let me just. Oh boy! Check. I'm gonna go watch some YouTube while this is at. Perks of being the co caster. You're on your own, gods. Yeah. For those of you who don't Maybe know, you... There's, there's also Star Ladder going on. Like, I think there's Star Ladder. I think there's been two Star Ladder games in the time that we've had one game here. Yeah. Um. I think the guys that are here really deserve some applause. They're yeah, really, really supportive of our games here, despite it. Surrender, please. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Ah ha ha ha. Invisibility. Okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna give out some Dota 2 lounge rares. <laughs> I'm gonna give out one rare. Gods, that's not gonna work out. They're gonna push high ground and they're gonna back off. <laughs> they gotta commit. Rax, like Raxes. <laughs> alright, 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 guys, you ready for the rares from Dota 2 lounge? It's gonna be an IQ test, so... Oh, I'm, I'm getting on Dota 2 last. I wanna win these rares. Alright. They, they, I don't have two minutes delay. The stream has two minutes delay, so suck it, stream viewers. These are my rares. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Give me some okay. rares, Lysander. Alright, uh, it's... Uh, it's a code. It's a four-letter four, four letter code or four numbers, whichever. But you guys should know how to do it, so if you don't... This is time to go ask the Twitch chat, and hopefully they are nice to you. <laughs> Twitch chat. And yeah, all right, so it's gonna be an IQ test, so it's up to you to think about it. It's four letters. It's orange, second letter in Artizi's name, and fish, and orange. All right, enjoy. Okay. All that for one rare, guys. <laughs> for one rare. <laughs> game, what a play. Oh man. Man, you, this is... Big thanks to everyone who is still tuned in to the inaugural, but... <laughs> Shout out to Dota 2 Lounge for the rares, of course. Yeah. A lot of Vengeful doing a little bit of late game polling. We farming creeps. Let's... This is, this is another... 865 last hits for Tinker. Will he reach 1k? I've never reached 1k yet. I, I had a game as Naga Siren, and it went, it only went like 65 minutes, and I ended the game with 970 last hits. I was so sad I didn't reach 1k. I really wanted to drag it just to reach 1k last hits. No. Oh. Um, I prefer dragging for kills, but yeah, okay. There are two kinds of people, I guess. Yeah. Well... 
Well, Invoker has not died the entire game. That's actually pretty impressive. 78 minutes, zero deaths from my point. Well, I don't know. Not a lot of people have been dying. Most of the deaths on the die are Venge and Rasta. Look at six, and we have another six there. 12, so only five deaths between them. Uh, Prophet's got four and one more thing, so really not that many. Look at it, scripted, YOLO. What's he done? Do push this is like, now. This is what like, Jimmy was doing the other day on his Rubik, where he's just like, I'm just going to go off, push the top lane on my own. If Prophet TPs, he can just straight up kill him. But, not going to happen. Tinker actually teasing a TP of his own. <laughs> what, what was Tinker, just fight? What's what this what? Tinker being doing? His, his Lincoln Sphere is on the ground. He sold his Dagon 5, he sold his Yule. He's just like, all over the place. Yeah, this game makes no sense. I don't know why would you be so afraid to push. What are we doing without lives, Lysander? <laughs> what will what will happen to the best of three? I mean, the the yeah. team that's waiting for them. Who's who's waiting for them? Execration. I don't know if yeah, we'll have like. Execration. Uh... gonna be so mad. Yeah, I'm not sure. If they could have played two pups by now. Lot. They're, They're probably watching this now. game like this is the worst game I've ever, I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know. Not the worst game, but a <laughs> very questionable game. It's entertaining in its own, like, I don't know, narcissistic way. Well, this What's would have never on? happened. The, the shop at base. Tinker's just like swapping out items. He's like, what do I want to leave base with this time? I'll take my Bloodstone and my Shiva's Guard and my Axe. I'll leave the Lincolns and the Manta at home. I don't even know what the Bloodstone's for if you're not getting kills. Yeah. the It gives him extra mana regen, I guess. As well as the bigger mana pool, so we can just use more hexes. Like, he can chain hex a lot more, but... End of the day, he's not chain hexing anyone. He has not used his hex in such a long time. He's going to start hexing creeps at this rate. Well... I don't know. Maybe I should give out another rare. Yeah, I see someone I saying get up. they won the rare. Yeah, everyone always wins, but there are more than one person winning, so there's only one rare. I don't know how three people won their one rare. Alright, uh, the next set of rares, so pretty similar, actually. Um, OZFO. Dude, Mor is Morphling doing the same thing? His Scott, he's not- He's gone Dagon 5! Oh, Dagon 5! Yes! Kill stuff! Ooh. I have never seen such an anticlimactic rapier before. On Ember Spirit? What's Ember Spirit got? On he's anyone. got 6k gold. Sell the Sell phase, the phase. yes. Get your... Fuck oh, that, man. what? <laughs> he had an 8 second BKB, and he replaces it, why? Not happy, Lysander. That's me smashing my keyboard. I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go full freaking misery mode and start... Oh no, it was Demon who was smashing monitors at SMM. <laughs> well... Uh... 81 minutes, I think they're just dragging his uh, little agreement Look, they wanna, they wanna re break some records here, apparently. Nah, Bench is pushing it now. There we go. Oh, Level Bench 3 swap. Yeah, we could get something. You know, this would have all ended if everyone wasn't just so wimpy about it. Oh, this Tinker is just baiting. Look at that. TP over to the creep. Bait you in. And what did Morphing sell for this? He sold his Scardi. Maybe he dropped it on the ground. No, he sold it. No, no, no. The Scardi is waiting for him in the back. Yeah, I yeah, look at that. Your personal stash. So, They've only got the one Courier. They, they need to Stagger Tooth Jerry. So Jerry, please. They should just mass couriers and use it like as a shield, like a flying courier army. It's honestly and like, he... what else? He, what else is Morphling spending his 8k gold on? Same for same for this freaking Tinker. You got 9k gold. You could buy like, what? A lot of a lot of like you get like 50 flying couriers and use it like just to block the vision of your opponent. Oh. As well as scouting. Flying couriers can be used as scouts. You can scout out the entire map using couriers. Why is this gem on the ground? By Morphling lane, bottom lane. I think this is the push. It's coming, it's coming. Yeah, the push is coming. Alright, time to end Green. the game, boy. Unless the crit rapier comes in and everyone gets wiped. But we'll, see. we'll see. What's our current gold looking like? 9k for like five heroes almost. Tinker Morphling. Yes, on the buyback. It looks so good. Look at that. I, it's, All the buybacks. It's actually a pretty beautiful sight when you see 10 buybacks up. I, I, I do like that. I hope like, after this next yes! fight, they're all 10 on cooldown. Ooh, all the yes. All of my yes. Dance party. Let's go. Black King Bar dropped here. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, 
There's just items flying around everywhere on the map. Ben's going for AC, so Radiant's they're gonna wait for that. Did attack. she buy it? No. No, she's waiting for it. She's got a plate mill. We're gonna for I'm gonna follow Jerry, uh, Snaggletooth Jerry. He looks high. Which one's Snaggletooth Jerry? The raiding career. Uh, the dire career. What career's raiding got? They've, they've got the little dragon, little green jade. Unim unimpressive. Yeah. Here we go. It's gonna happen! Again! No, I, don't, I don't think anything's gonna happen. You're wrong, Lysander. Here we go! Drop the rapiers! I mean, these guys <laughs> are so there's, full there's of Let's You gotta go back and get Roche, guys! You're forgetting Roshan! Shit! I dropped below 80% HP! Time to run, boys! Get the hell out of there! Oh, wait, guys, we've forgotten the ninth Roshan of the game! Please! Yeah, yeah. Roshan I mean, is the like second Roshan. Like, the, uh, the second Roshan survived nearly the hour yeah. mark. Oh! Blink seven once! It's on! Yeah. Farm them yeah. seven once. Swap oh, another Timber Swap in! BKB. Guys, it's a BKB being used! Hit the Dagon! Ethereal Blade doesn't kill the Enchantress, though! That was, a, I think it was a Dagon. Yeah, he ethereal Dagon him and it didn't even get the kill. They got the tower right. down below half HP though, Lysander. That's right. big news. That was, if that was Aghanims, it would have been the down tower, but... Nope. Shadow Poorman. Didn't think it was all they need to go that. Get this, Lincoln, get this Ventral Spirit and Aegis or something. Yeah. Bench Aegis, YOLO in with the Blink Swap. Yeah. yeah. And then you can actually buy the Assault Crest, because he doesn't need buyback if he's got Aegis. Well, maybe he does. Who knows? I think five Dagon fives would be fun. This courier, just, just kill someone off. Following them around. Just, just blow someone up and then just blow them up again after 15 seconds. It'd be so fun. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So the Scotty Morphling takes the Scotty when his BKB is on cooldown. I guess is the plan. Like he uses BKB, then drops the BKB, picks up Scotty. Even if he doesn't pick up the BKB, like even if he drops the BKB on the ground, he can just buy a new one later on. Like he doesn't have to worry about dropping the BKB perfectly onto the courier. The Vietnamese caster says, I'm out. This game's, this game's enough. <laughs> See you later, Zia Misa. Yeah. Right. I gotta sleep. I think that's the co caster. Yeah, that's the co caster. Suna Minori is the yeah. main caster, I think. Yeah, so he got ditched. And yeah, we might actually hit okay. the record here. I don't, I've never seen a bunch of. Uh, a bigger bunch of cowards in a Dota game before. I'm just calling it right now. Bunch Fearing to push up the high ground. And how much is the summit worth again? Three thousand dollars in prize money. Okay. Okay. Are we gonna do it? What, what's your, what are your predictions? Are we gonna be breaking the uh, the ninety nine minute mark? I don't think so. I mean, oh, the third rapier. Believe it. Who needs He's on bench? Wait, who got Aegis? Who needs cleave when everyone's taking a thousand two hundred already? So. I... The cleave is nice though, because if they group up and you cleave damage through, but he's gonna have to pray Sack. for crit. You need you need the crit, not just the. Uh, yeah, the crit will do two thousand five hundred now though. So, whoop. I think he sells his face boots, or at least like I think he should do what the morphling's doing, which is like carrying your item around on the courier near you. Like get have like boots to travel on the courier near you, and then drop the face, drop your boots, and have boots to travel on courier plus like another Daedalus or another divine rapier. Yeah, and Everlast uh, running out of land money, so I think it's a uh, it's a race to see who runs out of money first, real life money. And I think the Singaporean boys are gonna be at advantage here since they're playing from home. So, first departure wins, yay! Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know what. Let's just run some ads to make this worth it. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't make it worth it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, maybe. Uh, at least we get a couple of esports dollars. Uh, we, I deserve at least a couple of esports dollars. Let's run some ads, boys. Earn real money! Mm -hmm. What other ads are there? Um, the famous ones. XC! And. I just want to find uh, some like, good YouTube. Hey guys, I'm Epi. And I think that this Kingston board is the best. Keyboard is the best. Is it Kingston? I can remember. Damn it, Epi. You need to be a little bit more impactful. I know that's the one where everyone goes sell out. You can support Star Ladder by purchasing Star Ladder tickets. You can support my team. Uh, no, you can. 
What was that again? What did Loda say? Oh yeah, purchase oh. all leather tickets and more all money the money in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, more money in, it will end up in the. Oh yeah, you can purchase star leather tickets and the money will end up in my pocket. Yeah. Each ticket comes with a no with a unique lead set and adds two point fifty to the price pool. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know why I'm laughing anymore. Two point fifty. <laughs> <laughs> two point fifty. Oh man. Oh boy. Let's, Here we let's go. go! Yes, please! Please, let's go! <laughs> no, they, they really should. Uh, these couriers are just like. Uh, oh man. I mean, Awfully should just sell the heart and get a crit. He's got 11,000 gold. I think he wanted to keep the battle here in MS3. I don't know. I'm not even sure. I mean, he hasn't even used sell the any damage. I will sell the boots. Since you're not really moving a lot in the fights, you're just gonna end everyone in one hit anyway. It's like the Medusa with triple divine rapier and no boots. Did you no, see but, that? No, but guy? Ember Spirit has more mobility than. Oh a... yeah, that was awful. Like Ember Spirit with no boots can kind of work. They're going mid. They're doing it. The dream. Here we go, Davai, Davai. Let's go, man. If they lose oh, the big wrap around gank is gonna be the name of the game. They go for the Roshan, the grave, the Lincoln saves lives. It's a disaster. <laughs> oh no, no. he spent really. that BKB. Also it's lamp. tainted now. Gotta buy a new one. The Morphling. Yeah. Get the refresher, man. He needs to refresh it to refresh this. Oh, swap up on the Enchantress this time. Maybe no save. Great. Where's the crit? 1400 crit, but that's just on a creep. Alright, Divine Rapier confirmed for defective. I think you need to send these back to the factory, get them checked. I'm unimpressed. And they're back. Visage is like, guys, screw this, I'm out of here. Let's go home. This is too scary. <laughs> oh, it's Rocket. Okay, the epi one. <laughs> Rocket, set the rules. Yeah. yeah, he does all that punching that. The <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm epi. And today I'm gonna tell you. Oh, chaos! The rapiers! The rapiers! No, no, no! Force no. up, okay, boys! No. They've got a grave too. They're okay. Daffa's like, I'm just gonna make sure we keep these rapiers alive. Oh, oh Mopling got a dazzle! We are gonna fight now, boys. Chaos BKB jumps to the remnant. The oh, he gets a clash across, and one slash out. brings down the invoker. Now we have gonna fight. We have a fight. I'm so excited. I can't see anything. TNT goes down to right click. Nature's problem. Oh, this getting crushed. Die. They got destroyed. First departure just can't win this, it feels like. They've all got buybacks. Oh man. I maybe they just push and like, well, let's just win this game because they got no buyback, but Oh Nature's Prophet, he got the rapiers! GG! Oh GG! VS, let's stack him VS. Get some rapiers VS. Rapiers all around. Shadow Shaman! Do it! Do it, Shadow Shaman! Take it! Yes! Oh, they got the triple rapiers! Look at these supports! Twice. VS and Shadow Shaman with the rapiers! Game on! Oh, here come the pilot! Because there is a Tinker with uh, yeah. Agonips. Dazzle is gonna respawn any second now. Oh, Venge! YOLO! She's gonna return the rapier! No, drop the cheese! Look at them supports! It's powling in! Laying down the herd, the rockets fly in! But now, Dafa is really, really not gonna hurt anyone here. Invoke across the BKB, walks through the marsh, he's gonna feed himself. Maybe Timbersaw kills off Nature's brother, there's one rapier on the ground. BS. There are not enough, Couriers cannot pick up rapiers, Shabba and Shaman dropping low! BS, yes! <laughs> Double rapier BS! Oh man, this game's gotten good, this game. I don't think they Snaggle can push, they're too low. They don't want to give the rapiers back, they're gonna back off. And you can't drop them, so these are not completely lost. We still could have another one hour farm fest to get all the rapiers. <laughs> 90 back. minutes in, and not a single Rax has fallen. Mm -hmm. This, oh boy. This is new meta. Oh my god, <laughs> Tinker with triple no, five digit bottom gold, gold, and oh my god. Buybacks are on cooldown. Let's go. Warfling with this Dagon 5 shotgun. He means business. He's only got a five second BKB though. Bench Rampage, calling it. Yeah. Uh, Venge is getting low. Venge needs assault crest plus like life seal here. I think he's got the assault crest. Oh, it, what? It's a shiver's guard. What is this? No, you go carry Venge. You go carry. 
Stop! Stop! Please! Oh, oh boy. No, he's gone. I know how Zuri felt the, felt the other day. We have another eight minutes to go attack. before we break the record. I think they're just looking for it. I mean, Zuri is lost. It'll be close. GG not fault. <laughs> nice items, Amber. Why is this VS gone? She was gone. Yo, no. look at this. KS, the Morphling now... is pretty much like the the nuker. Morphling's not even playing as a carry. He's going shotgun Dagon. Edison needs to be going like DPS here. And the Shadow Shaman has the other rapier. <laughs> <laughs> this useless piece of crap out of Shaman Hero. At least he can farm ancients really well now. <laughs> yes. He's got agonims. The, 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 I mean, I don't know. He's got agonims, you're right. We can rejoice. Oh, He's we are now on the seventh longest games played. Get hyped, chat. I'm I'm just so hyped I can't control it, Lysander. You this game is uh, it, it's it's touching all my buttons, I'll tell you that. Oh, looking forward to that best of three, if uh, it does happen again. <laughs> I'm not sure if it, the schedules can still go as planned at this rate. Yeah, we might have to reschedule, This but... has been like a full best of three on, on its own. Yeah. I've seen I've seen some grand finals and faster, so... I don't know about these. Well, 15,000 golden morphling is effectively richer than Mushy. And Chains is doing all he can for his team right now. I've never seen anyone reach 20k gold, I don't think. I've seen like 10 to 15, but I don't think I've ever seen 20k gold. Okay. Guys, every Rax, every T3 tower is still standing. They get a split push! It's a new strategy from uh, from Everlast. They go for the split push. Everlast are going to take this, and it's oh, going to yeah, be it looks quite way. the upset against First Departure. And... I honestly feel that this red is all because of chains. So maybe we won't see what, it in the best of three. What is Refresher this? Invoker. Enchantress gets double Ogre Club. Refresher on the Invoker. Here we go. Surfer was on the higher ground here. They're going to get rid of these. We may see yeah, the first tier three tower of the game Ogre's going down. That's what I'm talking about. Double BKP Ember Spirit. One of these items. He gets swapped in. He's going to fire him out of there. No, he, it, this was the one that he bought. Yeah. So he took the, uh, the um, second BKP for the bonus 24. And, str and yeah. some plus string. I guess it's okay. Rax. Morphling, just Rain not Rax. caring. Rain Rax. Oh, Hex. Divine Rain Fish and a Shaman. Look Radiant at this plus Spot damage. Oh, <laughs> BS with the double Radiant Divine. Gonna do Spot some Rax in here. Meanwhile, top lane, Prophet possibly in trouble. Tinker trying to take him out. Tinker needs his Dagon. He's got no damage without the Dagon 5, though. Oh, Six he's... minutes from the longest game. Should we just. Oh, Let's man. let the teams know. Be like, guys, we're close to record. <laughs> Shotgun, Dagon. Enchantress with no buyback. I don't think Everlast want to go for that one. I think they want to end this. All right. We got 18 to 24. Everlast uh, today back. Ever Spirit had to lose his rapier, so I don't know. Oh man, Roshan's back. Let's go. Roshan, Roshan says, back. "Come and get me." One cheese was eaten. Oh, just one cheese was eaten though, so I don't know. Uh. Oh, bottom lane, Edison. He's got two rapiers. You can't die, Edison. You cannot die. This Ember Spray. Oh, he wants Edison. the rapiers. He sees the rapiers. <gasps> Edison, he's gonna go down. Ember rapiers. Spray. He's back on. He runs away. Fire Ribbon Tower. Come back. Ooh, he gets he the morphling. The morphling. Oh. <laughs> Top Rax is meanwhile. Prophet is gonna do some rat Dota. It doesn't matter, it does not matter. Buy back the from Morphling, will buy back from Venture Spirit. Oh boy, oh boy, Re oh boy. These have been reclaimed. That is a, a reclamation of the Divine Rapiers. And he's got okay. 4k gold, what is he gonna buy? Bottle? He's a rapier. fucking bottle! <laughs> One Rapier is still in Shaman, so... What is, what is this? 94 bottle. minute bottle purchase from it, from the from the Ember Spirit. <laughs> yeah, I think he just wants to heal the Fountain Lord faster. Yeah, he, he wants the faster regen. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this game. Uh, they lo they've lost Raxes at least. We see Raxes going down. Still in, still in, still in it. Uh, oh well, three more minutes and we have beaten the record. I think 99 would be safe. I think yeah. it might happen this game. Okay. It really might. I think three minutes, Tinker can stall that long. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Look at the march fam, there's no way. Roshan will take another minute to fall and we might actually do it. Gods, we might be famous! Well, I don't know. They may try. Well, I, I, they may just try end the game with the ages. They'll put it on Morphling, will they? No Dagon for you, Morphling. 
The Dagon Five Scotty BKB. Look at this Morphling. That's because courier. Morphling has no more uh, no more buyback. So the next death will be about two hundred seconds. Yeah. Oh boy. He's We're earning no money from this now. Tinker with over one k last hit. Morphling with eight hundred and sixty eight. You jelly gods. I'm very jelly. I'm, uh, I'm mad jelly. Like. Oh I don't man. Know. This is like hot potato with rapiers. Hot rapiers. Man, what is. I am spirit. Okay, he drops the bottle, picks up the TP scroll. Oh Please. boy, here we go. 99 minutes. We are coming up to it. 96, 3 minutes, boys! <sighs> Rats out, boys. Let's do this. This Tinker, like. Both Tinker and Morphling just have their own little mini shots. Gods, you're muted in Dota TV. Yeah, I, 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 I I've, I've unmuted it now. I don't know what happened. It's like randomly muted by him for no okay. reason. Okay. But okay. We're, we're back in business. First departure going all in down the mid lane. Return the rapiers. Let's go. Operation oh, return the rapiers. They, wanna, they know Morphling has no buyback, but Morphling is Aegis. Yeah. That's one item short, though. The NATO will fly. EMP to stall. There's a cooldown. Two minutes, boys. Let's do this. This reminds me a lot of Alliance versus Ooh, Navi. Lock the Invoker down and place Force uh, on BKB. BKB. Yeah. Axon Dafa swaps him back in. No BKB yeah. for him. There's buyback. Why are, we, why are we so worried about this buyback? Back Look off, that. boys. Back off. He TP's back in immediately. You know, I'm not really a fan of that Dante. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Are under 97 minutes, man. I don't know if we're going to make this. I feel like this... I have this, uh, this niggling feeling we're not going to make the 99 minute mark. I don't know if this game deserves to be the longest game. Like DK right, versus I'm gonna, IG. I'm gonna transition into Korean caster mode now. Yeah. So. DK versus IG at the TI was like two Chinese teams playing at TI. This is like not quite the same scale. <laughs> K-pop Toast is gonna have new stats after this game. Uh, yeah. Later second Roshan ever killed. Uh, what else? Oh, I don't know. Right. I think K-pop Toast is popping up in the uh, the chat. <laughs> well, you know, 20, 25, and 55,000 is last. We just spent the last two hours casting this Dota game. <laughs> Dota is life. One minute. I love it. I love my job, Lysander. Yeah, one minute. Yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna happen. Yeah, we're gonna be famous gods. We are I don't gonna... know. I don't know if this is famous. I don't <laughs> want to be famous for this. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool Double to reach the 100 Booker minute Club for Enchantress. It's the old Sanj and Sanj build because Yasha sucks. On Enchantress. Oh, oh they hex oh, yeah. up Dafa. No buyback. Swap in there. Yep. This is good. This is he very good. No great. TP. TP. Something. Oh, he gets a kill on the Dazzle. Dazzle's on the sidelines now. That... No 30 buyback. seconds. We got 30 seconds. You guys can die, but really, really just stick at it. 99 seconds. Boys. I think first the Patras. Oh, oh the crits! The crits KS dropping low. You're gonna return the rapiers. He returns the rapiers. Vengeful spirit is gonna do it. And no, Chase gets a double kill. They're all running into march. They're just getting Five killed down. They're getting marched down to death. The, 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 the divine rapiers on the ground. No space to take it because <laughs> really, what are you gonna drop? Ah, uh, boy. Furious cannot pick up rapiers, boy. It's the Ven. The double rapier Venge is back. And we've done it. We've we've overtaken the longest game in history, Lysander. <laughs> And most departure are going home with their rats. I want to reach stuff. 100 minutes. Can we do it? I don't think we can, but it's gonna be close. Actually, we can. We can. We definitely can. We definitely can. So long the GG doesn't come Dazzle out. Dazzle has buyback. I guess. The I don't think they they can throne it yeah. that fast. Well, only Dazzle's coming back anytime soon. They're Jackal? gonna get mega freeze. I mean, yeah. I think they're just playing oh. for balls. Radiance oh my! Oh fallen. my! Golly! Golly! God! Radiance top barracks has fallen. Oh, we won. We win at last. We won. Jokes on them. Well, Mr. Edison on the run. Uh, oh, Morphling going full of G. Oh, Morphling going full of G. Lobby with the BKB is like, yo, swag, but this. Oh, this. Radiance the cliff comes. There is your 100, 100 minutes, God. 100 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Naya Daya! Naya Daya, Naya Daya! Oh, victory!